What up, guys? Uh, Axe Patel, what's going on, buddy? Long time no see, indeed. Juxtaposed artist, Eric Reeves, Alos, Tycool, what's going on? Uh, Axe, what's up, Taterino? Long time, man. Oblig obligatory question about your thoughts on Loki. I really, We really liked it. Um, I thought they did a really good job of of making him a sympathetic character uh, in the matter of, what, 40 minutes? Where in the films it took him five years to do that, you know, for him to kind of come full circle. So I thought they did a really good job. And um, there's a, there was a lot in there, too, that I think that they, you know, kind of uh, hinted at that makes me pretty excited, uh, particularly... With Kang and the uh, the time the TV uh, the timekeepers little animation at the beginning, I thought that, that was pretty cool. Obi Don Lion Ryan Shabir, what's good, man? Jacob, of course. How you doing? Jaskrat Aegon. Mm, I don't know, man. I'm I honestly haven't decided exactly which team I'm gonna use. Um, and we're probably, we're probably going to end up going in, uh, once or twice. So, yo, what up, Nick? Nick squad, hashtag Nick squad in the house. Good to see you too, man. Um, everybody that's joining, Jay Nick, what's going on, man? Dev? Uh, yeah, good to see you guys. And, uh, things have been good, Jay Nick. I've still been in touch with my four Loki dudes. And Lizer, and but I don't know, man. It's I don't I can't really pinpoint exactly, um, <clears throat> exactly what the benefit has been, or exactly why there's been a benefit given that uh, had I stayed in Four Loki, I I wouldn't really be doing a whole lot more than than I have been <laughs> the last two weeks, but. It's just, it has been refreshing, man. It's, it's really helped out. Zill, what's up? Warrior, Simon. Sergeant, Death, what's going on, dude? Simurat, what up? Bring Aegon Taters, he is really great for this. Yeah, I saw uh, Brian use Aegon. Um, so, I don't know, man, but... Um, Alright, first things first here... We are going to have to drop Suicide. So I've had like a complete arena-only build. This has been my build. <laughs> Three points in defense just because I needed to fill the spots and I didn't want to spend extra units um, on, you know, on stuff like this. Like even that last one, five units for that. So um, I haven't spent any money on this game for a while. Well, a while is relative. It's been, I don't know, I'm not... Uh, I gave up the, um, whatever it's called, the sigil. That was about two months ago. And um, in all of these units that you see up here, the, this is 4,500 units, they are all uh, naturally grinded for an arena, which if you guys have followed me or know a whole lot about me or really anything about me, you know that I, I hate arena. But, for some reason, and I really don't understand this, but for some reason, I've actually kind of enjoyed very casual arena over the last two weeks since I stepped away from 4 Loki. And I don't really know why. I don't know why. I, it's it's got to be some kind of psychological thing. Um, but anyway... <clears throat> so, uh, we've got 4,500 units. I've also been doing some... I've been doing some of this. There's a revive. We're going to finish this path up here. And then um, we're going to grab this revive. And then we can count the revives. But I think I've got like 40 revives uh, total available. And then, you know, I've got some units. I hope that it doesn't cost me 40 revives. But at the same time, um, I know that really strong players are getting through it in about between 15 and 25 revives and a lot of those strong players are doing it off stream and um, you know 
mixing me with streaming, it's it could get expensive. It could get expensive. You're not going to see uh, the, you know, whatever skill I've got. You're not going to see that today. But we're going to use Shang-Chi for sure. I'm probably going to bring in Quake. And uh, I don't know, man. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, Quake and Ghost with Hood are fantastic as well. And APOC Mags. Yeah, I'll definitely be bringing APOC. And um, I was thinking maybe Archangel as well. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of talk through it. Not really sure which team I'm going to do. But, um, uh, will, they be, where, will there be DoorDash this stream? It's possible, man. This stream, I, you know, I told Mary it's probably going to be a long one. Like, uh, I know that Brian went for like four hours. And that's not a good sign for me because, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm hoping that it's not a four or five hour stream. Aegon, Apoc, Quake, Red Mags, and who else? Yeah, I, I'm going to bring Shang-Chi at least. Um, yeah, J Nick, there we go. Just bring Shang-Chi, no synergies, no teammates, nothing else, just Kung Fu. I think we might do that. There's no way I can't solo that Doom with Shang-Chi. There's absolutely no way I can't do that. Like, that should be automatic for me. I've been playing Shang-Chi, like, almost exclusively for the last three weeks, and um, I think he's my favorite champ in the game. I think that that's... <laughs> I know there's recency bias, but I think that he is easily my favorite champ in the game. Uh, Cam Raid, yo, nice. I did see him streaming. I popped in for a second, but uh, had to get all this shit set up. Uh, PWF, Slaymon, there he is. Cam, what's up, dude? Hold on, I got... Why are you not a... Why are you not a moderator? I don't, not that it matters, like I fucking stream often anyway, but uh, now you're a moderator. Congratulations. Uh, Camp, what's up, dude? Rashid, Domadeus, Xander, Aaron. Uh, will we see skillful taco eating? Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. You might. Glory, what's going on, man? <clears throat> oh shit, it's, uh, it took Zill uh, four hours and it took Cam four hours, so that means it's probably going to take me like six hours. I'm glad I started early. I'm glad I started early. Yikes. Um, <clears throat> Dude, Janik, I, I love him. Like, I am in love with him. In love with him. Alright, let's get this path finished here, and then uh, just, to, you know, snatch up this last revive. And then, um, and then, yeah, we can change our masteries, and we can just go in and, and test the waters a little bit. You know, I the with the quake scenario, I feel like bringing quake for me, like, for cost efficiency purposes is probably very smart. But I also know that it's, they're going to be long fights. It's going to be pretty boring to watch. And I don't know if I want to do that. But I also know that, you know, I, I don't have infinite revives like a lot of people. Like, I've got, like, 40-ish, you know? That's, that's not much. So, I don't know, man. We'll just have to see how it goes. But, uh... Uh, I don't know. Chi is definitely coming. Well, we'll we'll go in with Shang Chi at least for the Doom, and then if we decide that he's not viable for any other fights, then we might have to drop him, unfortunately. But at the very least, he's 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 gonna be um, one of the first champs in. Barra, what up, man? Thanks for the good luck. Jeff Morris, nice. Thanks, dude. Hobby, is your Streamlabs broken? What? I don't think so. Whoa! What the hell? Hold on, maybe I, I must have screwed this up. Oh, I did. All right. My God, I'm so sorry. Let me refresh this. Why is it, is it not showing up? Did you guys see that? All right, hold on. Now I'm freaking out. Uh, well, this is what a professional streamer looks like. Did it not pop up? Hold on.
There we go. Hobby. Dude, Hobbit. Thank you, bro. You know what that is, guys? That's two dollar tacos. All right, let's get Hobby up here. Uh, Taco Lord would be Hobby. Thank you, by the way, for calling that out because uh, it's been a while since I've done this and I've never been good at it anyway. So, <laughs> gosh, what a loser. All right, there we go. Dude, thank you so much, Hobbs. And it is good to see you, man. I've I've just missed being like involved with MCOC. All of you guys, just the community. I don't know. It sounds so sounds so cheesy and and uh, fabricated when I say it out loud. But what can you do, man? I have missed it. Um, I bomb took me a solid forty minutes. I brought in G Hulk for Terax and I bomb simply because my skill with Quake is greatly diminished since I've barely used her in the last six months. Yeah, I, I'm I'm a little concerned about a few of the fights that I think that uh, she would be the she would be the best for. Um, just because I don't I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I don't know. But uh, all right, let's let's get back into this. I just gotta finish up this lane here. Mike Priest, what's up, man? <clears throat> All right. Common man streams for the win. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, you're at the cafe? Nice, dude. Yeah, happy Pride Month. Let's put that on the bottom of the screen, man. Happy Pride Month. Hold on. All right. All right, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> my uh, my setup is is not ideal for uh, for <laughs> for streaming. I've kind of moved things around a little bit because I've been using my computer for other purposes and stuff. Obviously, I've been on a, a break kind of so. I should have spent a little bit more time prepping the area, but um, I'll just have to move a couple things around. Not a big deal. You guys are like, what What the hell is this guy talking about right now? Uh, just talking about all the shit that's on my desk. Alright, I think we can kill him with this SP3. Let's get this thing out of the way. MSD, what up, G? Has Legacy joined your alley yet, Taters? Um, he he has not. Um, uh, one of the guys from Four Loki who's also taking a break, um, Rez, he did join yesterday. I mean, we're not doing anything. We're literally so what? Like what I've been doing is. The benefit of being in an alliance that has nobody in it is that you do get those alliance event rewards, even though they're super, super small because you've only got one or, in this case, two people contributing to them. You still get them. So it's just a little bit extra. And then um, last week I was, uh, I was just soloing AQ by myself. I had to do map four because I tried doing map five. And I got stuck at the first mini because the Lynx had like all or nothing and um, uh, what was it? Had all or nothing and 200% energize. <laughs> so it was like literally one combo. Uh, it's their Nightcrawler minis, or at least it was last week. I don't know if that's like a permanent thing in map five. But um, it was like two combos and he was at an SP3 and I... I couldn't do anything. I did not bring Quake. I didn't scout ahead. I brought in Shang Chi, <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Yeah, I'll just s destroy anything in a, a map five. But then it was like all or nothing and two hundred percent energized. It's like, oh, okay, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I'm not going to be destroying that. Um, and then, uh, and then I did uh, map four, and I was able to solo map four the rest of the week with uh, Hulkbuster and Guillotine twenty ninety nine. 
So I think, um, but like that was kind of fun, you know, just to mess around in the Lion's Quest, not care if I finished or not. There was a day that I just completely forgot about it and didn't do anything. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, like, uh, Rez, you know, I, I think he's, he's really looking forward to having like a legit break as well. So, um, he and, and lags it, it, you know, if it, if lags still wants to join and stuff, uh, they'll just be officers and they can make, they can create AQ, whatever AQ they want to mess around with. Like if lag lags wants to do like a video, like try to, trying to solo map five or something like that, then he can just, uh, start AQ and, and just do whatever, man. I mean, it's, it's literally just that. So, all right. Looks like we're going to lose Rolk here. Not a big deal. Cat, what up? Oh my God. The break is really going well. Um, like I really, I really miss everybody in four I just miss being in the chats. Um, and like, I've been talking to several people in four Loki. Like I've been talking to Lizer quite a bit just because she's, she took over BG three. Um, and, but yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just been good. It's uh, definitely helped kind of reset mentally a little bit. So, uh, Taters, what was your thoughts on war rewards buffs? Um, my thoughts were almost exactly the same as Brian's, not to piggyback on somebody else's opinion, but. Uh, I say that just to kind of save myself some time because he made a video on it and I presume that most of you uh, watch that video just because if you know me, you know Brian and you're probably, you probably watch his videos and stuff. So that's kind of what I felt like. Um, the difference between me and Brian as it pertains to war is um, the cost has never met you know, it, it's never been quote unquote worth it. Um, but the reason that I've loved war is because it's the only human view, human v human competitive game mode. And that's all that I care about. You know, he mentioned people in his video that like the strategy aspect of it. And that's me. I'm not the most skilled player. Um, so, you know, uh, I think to, to a lot of people, war is, is like an arena where they can display their skills. Um, Lags is a great example. He's obviously an amazing player, and um, so he can challenge himself to have a perfect season every season, and he's capable of doing that every season. Um, that's not me, so I, you know, I get off on the, on the planning and the strategy stuff. Um, so the rewards really have never meant a whole lot to me to begin with. I haven't really cared that much about the rewards. I would play war if war was good. Like if, if Kabam fixed war and made it fun, um, I would play it even if there weren't any rewards. Um, but it's not fun right now. This, the state of it is just a, a train wreck, frankly. And uh, the rewards buff does not change all the things that are wrong with war. So I just kind of think it's really dumb. I mean, the rewards buff, it's cool that they're buffing the rewards, especially for the lower brackets. That was really their goal with this update. Their goal was to make war more accessible to a wider number of players, get more players to commit to playing war, which means to commit to an alliance, which means they're logging in uh, more often or they're logging in every day, because a lot of lower uh, bracket players don't log in every day. So they're trying to build up their daily active users, uh, which creates this uh, game loyalty within the player base. And, um, and it also creates a feeling of obligation sometimes to players to maybe spend money that they wouldn't spend otherwise because they have an alliance that's depending on them, um, because they want to get these boosts so they can perform well in war for their alliance. So this whole update... Um, I think discounts the top level of war, uh, makes it easier and, and worse 
and it and it expands the accessibility of war to players that generally aren't going to play war. So, to just to whittle that down into one thing, um, this was about money. It was how many how how much more money can we make from war? How can we monetize war better? And it's not the top. 0.01% spending money on boost. That's not how they do that. It's getting more players to commit to logging in daily to play a game mode that they weren't previously committed to. So in that sense, they did a great job because more players at lower brackets are going to play war because of this update. Uh, but the rewards at the top end, the Nexus, like, man, I mean... Look, a Nexus is nice. You get three options. So you're, you get three out of 200 options, right? Or 180 uh, in the basic pool or whatever, the, whatever it is. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's still RNG. A lot Most players are going to get shit on still. Um, you know, Brian was talking about it's like 1% of, of a rank 4 uh, for the, uh, the rank 4 resources that are dropped. It's like none of it changes anything for me. So... Um, yeah, I don't, I just don't really care. Nikhil, Schlierum, Lefty, yo, what up, BB? Good to see you, man. Uh, who's your gaunt team? As much as I like watching you go into things blind, I hope you have a plan for this one. Yeah, um, so I have watched, I watched, um, I would say a, a decent amount of Brian's streams. Um, I've kind of been skipping through ahead to, to the different fights just to kind of get an understanding for what other people are using. I watched um, MSD's um, run, which he posted, Sweeta's run, which he posted, uh, Mike's, uh, I think Mike streamed his. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not 100% sure. I know that I want to use Apocalypse. I probably am going to want to bring in Archangel. And I want to bring in Magneto. So those three are for sure. And then, um, I pro it's probably going to be Quake and um, Shang-Chi. But I just don't know how viable Shang-Chi is for any fights after Doctor Doom. And I know that Doctor Doom can be soloed with Apocalypse, who I'm going to bring anyway. So the Shang-Chi thing is, is really just because I like him so much, I want to bring him in. But I'm not 100% sure how viable he's going to be. So we will see. Um, I just I saw somebody asking if they got clickbaited. Uh, no, you didn't. I'm just I'm finishing up a, um, a path in 5.3.6 to, uh, to get this one last revive. That's it. Dude, Tej. Taters, you are very good at procrastinating. Oh, I know. Yo, Brendan, what up, man? Grenfell, there. I mean, there's so many people in here. PP, um, and ultimately, I'm gonna miss a lot of people. So I, I appreciate uh, everybody popping in here and and checking it out. All right. Oh fuck me. All right. I just spilled some coffee. Not a big deal. Well, I'm gonna have to fix this. So it's just another, <laughs> just more procrastination. God, what an idiot. Clown, what up, buddy? Calm down with the caps. Yeah, TG, you better chill out, bro. All right, I have to clean up this coffee because if I don't, it's just going to smell so bad. Uh, who invited me to incursions? Cuss? Ah, thanks, buddy, but I'm going to have to decline that one. All right, uh, give me just a moment here, and then we'll get into gauntlet. Uh, I, do, I have to go fix this coffee spill issue. So... I'll be back.
Alright, he's back. Sorry about that. Oh fuck, I think I missed a um a super chat. Uh, really not doing a good job. Casual cashew! Dude, that was seven minutes ago. Fuck. Uh really sorry, man. But let's get you up there. And also, thank you very much. Missed it too, man. Casual Cashew. Such a good name. Such a good name. All right. Uh, oh, Namor. That's right. Okay, so Namor. I do have... You know what? We're bringing Namor. And here's here's why. I've got a, a Rank 3 SIG 200 Namor. And I haven't used him probably at all. Since uh, since I ranked him, I mean I have I've used him technically a little bit, but not much. All right, we do have to clear these suicides off. Yo, white mummy, what up, man? Thank you so much. All right, um, see, we definitely want as much attack rating as possible if we're using Quake. Uh, PPG, what up? Try hard. Dude, meta. What's going on, man? Meta with the gambit. That's a gambit, man, if you guys don't know. Smashing gauntlet with a rank 3 gambit. Ridiculous. Taters has more authority to kick you outside of 4 Loki than I do inside of 4 <laughs> No, man. No, clown. I mean, you're not allowed to kick TJ, obviously, but he's definitely off limits. Teaches teaches off limits. Teaches uh, one of the safe ones. There's like B Manny, B Manny and TJ are like the two that can't ever get kicked from Fort Loki. <laughs> All right, we definitely want as much courage as possible because you know I'll be down uh, below fifty percent. Grinfeld, read my last taters. All right, buddy. One second. Oh, you can solo Doom with Mags. You don't need Shang Chi for that. Bring Namor. He is more useful, and he is Avenger for Thanos. Oh, that's, that's true. Yeah, I know. I know that the, the Shang-Chi thing, like, I know that he's not going to be the most viable. It's really just a fun thing. I love him so much. So here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go in with Shang-Chi first. We're going to do Doom with Shang-Chi. If I die, then, you know, whatever. Um, and I think I just want to fight uh, Thanos with Shang-Chi once. And then we'll go in with the real team. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what is your Doge prediction? I don't know, man. Honestly, um, here's the thing with Doge. I, I plan on holding all of my Doge for a very long time. Um, so I know that in the long run, well, I don't, I don't know. Nobody knows. But I'm very confident that in the long run, it is, uh, it's going to be one of the more stable cryptos. Or, I guess, one of the more bankable cryptos, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's, it is scary, man. I mean, it, when it hit 70 cents, like, what, uh, a month ago? Or, I can't remember exactly when. And we were like, man, it's going to hit a dollar. It's going to hit a dollar. And it's down, yesterday I looked, and it was down to 31 cents. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. I believe. Um, does anybody have any suggestions on, on masteries? I don't really care about the bleed. Oh, I guess I do, actually, for Archangel. Yeah, let's, let's get deep wounds in here. Uh, Schleer, read my last two. You got it. You don't need more if you're bringing Quake. All right, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because Namor, the big fights for Namor were uh, Terax, which obviously you could Quake, and then, oh, Killmonger. What? So Killmonger, who would I use for Killmonger if I don't, I mean, I could use Apocalypse, but I feel like he would just lose a lot of health to Reverb, unless he, like, play around it perfectly. Um, Alright, I wonder if I should do Fury... Enhanced Fury. That's probably overkill. Despair. Okay. That's a good idea. 
Wait, who's healing in that? Put everything into proficiencies every single point. Thank you. Such a such a great suggestion, Kat. If I remember to do that after I finish reading these comments, then uh, then you got it. Marcus, what up, man? Billy, Luca, Mega Farts. What's the deal with what's the deal 2K units? Oh, oh, is there a new deal? Oh, hold on. I guess I'd have to close the game out and reopen it, and I don't want to do that. So I don't know what the deal is, man. You can quake Killmonger. Yeah, I mean, I know. He's an easy solo with APOC. Okay. Um, <clears throat> willpower, yeah, we got to get, uh, yes. Yep, good call, man. All right, let's build up this tree over here because we're definitely going to want to be able to heal a little bit. And I want, should I go with health? Um, I don't know. All right. Block proficiency is probably a good idea. We can go six out of nine in greater vitality. That'll give me like, what is it, 5% extra health? I usually run nine out of nine during war seasons because uh, I like to have as much wiggle room as possible for when I'm getting my ass beat. All right, so four extra four percent health. That's I mean that's not that much, but all right, willpower for sure. No, I'm saying you're going to use two K units on the gauntlet. Oh, really? Or do you have a stash? I have um. I have like forty revives. We can count them here in a second. Um, all right, I've got two points left. Experts, what are the experts saying here? MSD, what where where should I go here? Uh, ghost is good for KM, just have to play around reverb a little. I'm not using ghost, man. Not doing it. Not using ghost. My ghost is uh, rank two. You're guessing or do you actually do some work on crypto and finance in general? I am guessing. I do not work in crypto or finance. AA smashes KM. Okay. Yeah, so it sounds like I'll have some uh, several options. Um, all right, I've got two points left. I guess I'll just leave them blank until somebody tells me what to do with them. All right, so let's do... Um, <clears throat> Where is this quest, by the way? Oh, it's here. All right. The gauntlet. Um, <clears throat> all right. All right, Apocalypse for sure. Archangel for sure. Where is, am I blind here? Yes. Uh, Magneto. And then who who else was I doing? Namor. Oh, Sweeta's here. What up, man? All right, Sweeta, assassin. No, Zell, I'm not fucking with assassin, man. Um, Sweeta, MSD. Where, what should I do with my final two points? My final two mastery points. Let's throw in Shang Chi here, just because I'm gonna use him in that first fight, and we can just see how it goes. Uh, but real quick, like we. Let's definitely use these last two mastery points. Um, we could do more greater vitality. That's probably not going to matter much. Maybe a couple points in petrify. Assassin. Assassin? Everybody wants assassin. I hate assassin. Pacify can be helpful while using mags. Okay. A, a Namor, Nick, Apoc, Quake, Ghost, a lot of options. See you, my planning stuff on Discord, MSD, for whenever you get a chance to take a look. Ooh, nice. Um, all right, we're just leaving it blank. We are going to go, uh, Assassin will really help some fights like Mojo. Oh, fuck. All right, well, I've only got two points, so that's fine. We'll do two points in Assassin. <clears throat> I think this is the first time I've had any points in Assassin in like over a year. And I don't think I'm exaggerating. All right. This first fight, we're going to use Shang-Chi just to... Uh... Well, this is, not, this is not what I was expecting. Um... <clears throat> 
just to have a little fun. And we'll just we'll just see how it goes. This will be a good warm-up. Why Shang-Chi for one fight? I just to have fun. It's just purely for fun. I'm probably gonna back out and um and bring in a different champ after this. Like maybe Namor. I don't know. Just to have another backup. Uh, bubble shield, particle protector, micro reflect. Oh, that's the reason. Okay, so that's it's probably not gonna be. <laughs> Shang-Chi's probably not going to be a good option here. I, I didn't actually know what the nodes were. Intercepts and heavy attacks. Uh, Alright, this is not going to go well, but let's just go in and, and have fun. Yeah, I, I could quake it. This is just for fun. So we're going to back out here in a second. Oh no, he's he's glancing my. Uh, this uh, is not gonna work. Hey, just if you can just. <laughs> Hello, sir. If you can just stop glancing. All right. Well, that was really fun. I do love Shang Chi. Let's uh, let's go back out and start over. <clears throat> Ah, yes, fun. <laughs> yeah, you know, Doom is normally fun to fight with Shang-Chi, but um, it, just, yeah, it just didn't work out. All right. All right, so who am I bringing in for my fifth guy here? I guess Namor, right? That's probably the best thing to do. Unless I'm overlooking something. <laughs> I didn't actually know what the nodes were. Yeah, whoops. Uh, there are nodes on every fight. Also, you have to do all four lanes in one fell swoop. Yeah, I knew that. Easy, what up, man? Uh, where do we send applications for four doge? Oh, man, it's pretty, it's a pretty, um, what's the word? It's, it's a pretty elitist alliance. Uh, I mean, if you're, if you, like, seriously just need a break and you don't really want to do anything... Because that's what we're doing. <laughs> then, um, yeah, you can like PM me online. Let's see if Legacy is has uh, requested to join yet. Probably not. Nope. Just me and Rez. All right. <laughs> uh, maybe Cable over AA. Over AA. I would think Cable, if I was to bring in Cable, it would probably be over Namor. Because uh, the fights that I would use Namor for, I could use Quake for. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're just, we're kind of winging this. Either Doom or Killmonger? Who are you using for APOC? Uh, that's a good question. Let's find APOC. What's he doing? I know that Doom is really good for APOC. Maybe I should bring in Doom, but... Oh, yeah. What, what, am, I, what am I talking about? I don't think I'm going to be... Alright. So we, so we probably need Doom, then. Uh, somebody sent over something. We're subscribed. New subscriber? Was that what that was? Uh, if that's the case, thank you very much. All right. Um, I, I guess Doom then, right? Think Mags could handle him. I don't want to get to to a APOC and not not have an option. You know what I mean? You can use Namor for Korg, Terax, and Killmonger and Nick. Yeah, def for sure. Ooh, yes, my penis is small, but APOC can do APOC. Just dodge specials. Uh, you used Max for APOC, okay? All right, maybe we can do that. 
what's going on? People are subscribing? I can't believe it. People like this this stuff? All right. A lot of people use Macs for APOC, so that's good. Uh, just as long as you can evade the SP2, it's super easy. I'm, I'm like 70% on the SP2. And I'm like 50% on dodging the first part of his SP1, blocking the second, and then dodging the third. So like, there's going to be a lot of wreckage, I think. All right, let's just let's just go in. And once we get to Apocalypse, you know, we can um, yeah, we can just you just spin units. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, farts. They're not for sure, but um, if if you, I've pra I've been practicing a little bit, which it de def definitely does help. Um, all right, so we're gonna do Apocalypse here, right? That's the that's the way to go. It's either Apocalypse or Quake here, but I'd like to pick up a, a mission. Wow, people are really going crazy on the uh, subscribe. Taters, you have a small PP -pee butt? Yeah, that's it's a, the the best name in MCOC is Yes, my penis is small butt. Uh, very very classy. And might I add, uh, this gentleman or potentially lady is uh, very active on my uh, on my channel which I really appreciate so always welcome in the chat of course <laughs> you suck uh, that's a that's a great that's a great name also okay all right let's go apocalypse here and I'm sure I'm gonna get completely wrecked here but uh, let's just let's do it anyway <clears throat> oh he's getting a lot of power is that normal All right, let's inflict that first debuff. Let's see if I can get an SP2 dex off. If I can't, we're going to be restarting. <laughs> All right. All right, let's refresh. Oh, man, that's a lot of block penetration. All right. Let's get that second debuff on him. Push him to the SP2. Let's refresh real quick. All right, see if I can get another dex off. Oops. Oh my god, I just butchered that. All right. Shit. Oh yeah, baby. All right, just total. Just totally got. Fucked in the butt. Hey, we're still alive, though. God, I lost all my debuffs. This is a nightmare. All right, we're going to have to quit this one. <laughs> Tater's showing them skills. Yeah. I mean... You knew this was gonna this is gonna go this way. Lucas, what's up, man? Oh, yeah, mags could be good for uh, for Doom as well. Two L3 rotations? That's it? Maybe we should go with him. Ghost works. I know. Look, it, it, for everybody that wants to suggest ghost, that's just never going to be an option for me. All right. Let's try this again. So, um, where would I pick up genetic code for Apocalypse? You can use him on Modoc and um, Ham. I don't know. Who cares, right? Let's just let's just go in and see what happens. Uh, Luigi, what up, man? BK Tiger, cheers from NYC. I think this is my first time catching you live. Thanks for all of your insights, dude. Well, I'm glad you're in here, and thank you for the cheers, man. Nick Whalen, hashtag Nick Squad, what up, man? Can't stay for long, but it's great to see you live. Hope you have a good stream. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it. All right, let's go with Magneto here just to see if uh, we can get this guy down a little bit easier. What the hell happened? I missed a parry? Awesome. All right. 
Oh, I'm just getting smoked on these, uh, on these blocked hits. Alright, let's see if I can dex this guy. Boom, boom. Alright, that sounds good. We're gonna start over again. Uh, Taters, you can max pacify mastery and completely ignore bubble shield node. Oh, with Magneto. Oh, shit. Good call. I forgot that was additive, so that's, yeah, that's 100%. Oh, that's clever. All right. Um, all right, I think we got to do that, right? That's probably the way to do it. Then I'd have to redo Masteries. <laughs> uh, hmm. I can't believe people are subscribing watching this. I, we are losing some viewers, so. Uh, I love this content. I bet you do with a name like you suck. I bet you do. Um, hmm. Yo! Maximus Savage! That is, that's with the crazy dollar twenty dollar taco, or the crazy twenty dollar taco. Uh, Maximus, thank you man, that, that'll pay for, hold on, let me see, three is like nine. That's like seven and a half tacos from my favorite taco place. That's a lot of tacos, man. Boom. Nice. Taters, there is a restart button. I know, and I didn't push it. I, I know. I'm just, uh... Yeah. Thanks for popping in, Maximus. Really appreciate it, man. Doing some tile work? Nice. Dude, so, like, every night at, like, 2 a.m. when I should go to bed... And instead, I get stuck, like, in the YouTube loop, flipping through videos that are recommended to me because I just can't stop watching YouTube. Inevitably, I always get to, like, tile masters laying these crazy tiles. <laughs> uh, that's always part of... That's always part of it. So, that's you now. Now I know. I don't think Quake takes long... Yeah, I mean, I could also quake it, but I'm sure I'd get wrecked number one, number two. Like, I'm I'm a little worried about, like, doing quake on this stream because <laughs> um, she's so boring. I don't know, man. Boy, he is really trashing me through the block. Alright, that's good. We prevented his aura, at least. Alright, see if we can stop his aura here. Boop! Alright. Let's see what these do. We do have deep wounds maxed out here, so this should... Hopefully, this will this will be decent here. <clears throat> okay, holy mother. Yeah, that that was that was good. All right, is it on the 10th block hit? Or is it once he has 10, then it's I don't, I can't remember here. We're just going to try to block a hit. All right. So now his next attack is going to be unblockable, right? Unless I turn it off. Yeah. All right. Oops. I don't know why I'm charging my, uh, my, my prowess yet either. Just get to the SP3 first. You know what, if I take an SP2 on the block, if I just miss a dex, then I'm gonna die, so... I should probably... chill out on that. Not push into the SP2. Alright, well... Oh man, I just lost all my prowess. All right, this will this will do it if I can stay alive through the bleeds. Uh, 
I wasn't a full Dex, but fuck it, dude. We we got through it. Aegon was my MVP. You can get him to 999 combo on Weapon X and one go easily. Yeah, I saw a lot of people using him. I just kind of don't really want to. Uh, that is it. Taters is a noob, and I am unsubscribing right now. Just kidding. How's it going, Taters? Hope you are having a fantastic day so far. Dude, thank you, and uh, might it's been good. Saturdays are always good, man. The work week is over. Uh, I've got softball tomorrow. That's, that's the reason that I'm doing this today, not tomorrow. I was going to do it tomorrow, but... Uh, yeah. I, I originally thought that we had an earlier softball game, but apparently there was some miscommunication, and it's like in the middle of the afternoon at 3 o'clock, so just wouldn't work. Anyway, okay, so um, I've seen Legacy do this with Namor, and I just wonder if I should do Namor or Quake. I guess probably I should try it with Namor first, right? Uh, loves taking unnecessary block damage, you already know. Yes, sir. Power index anytime soon? Mm, probably not a new full episode. I am thinking about doing something with power index, though, that uh, would just be a lot easier on me. And I'll talk about that a little bit later if, if I remember. All right, let's read the node. Powerful from afar. Energize. Oh, that's good for us, actually. Galactic Intervention. All right. Um, yeah, I think we're going to try this with Namor. It's been so long since I've played Namor. This is probably going to be really, really embarrassing, but... Um, YOLO, right? All right, so we want to get this guy cornered. Oh, man, that's a lot of energy damage. All right, then we should be able to backdraft him. This should be a pretty straightforward fight with all the power that he's getting. I just, I'm sure that I'm gonna screw it up at some point here. Miss a backdraft or something, something pretty stupid. All right, so there's number two. We should be able to get a third SP3 if I, if I can land a heavy attack. I'll just have to land a parry after this. Alright, there's three Furies, and then I can go right into from this into an SP2, and then we just restart the cycle, right? <clears throat> ah, fuck! What the hell is this? Oh, no! Oh no, I'm fucked! I don't... Can I survive getting back into the corner again? I'm gonna have to play like super aggressively. Oh my god. Wow, I, I knew that I was gonna fuck it up. I am healing a little bit from willpower from the uh, armor breaks, which is a positive. Alright, I, I really just need to be perfect with this, uh, with this, oh, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck, what the fuck, no, 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 what, I don't, wait, how did even, how did that even happen, how did that expire, I don't, don't understand what, what just happened. I, I guess I wasn't paying attention, I was just like watching my name more. Yeah, all right, so this fight's over. I don't know what how I messed that up. Shit. Well, I don't know. Good well it lasted, I guess. What, what even happened? What did I do? I messed it up.
Marcus, haven't played softball since the pandemic started? Yeah, dude. Um, it was like a huge long break. And uh, when I, when we, hold on, let me see if I can just quake the rest of this guy. If I can't, then that really does not bode well for, for this quest if I'm going to be using quake. But um, But yeah, Marcus, um, <clears throat> yeah, we, I was, I was, we were on a break for like, I mean, obviously a while. It was like nine, nine months or something. We did play, um, the fall of last season, uh, fall of last year. We just, uh, the league just took like precautionary measures, like, um, social distancing, in the dugout and um, mask requirements and uh, everybody had to take their temperature when they arrived at the park, shit like that. Um, and this season it's, it's been like a lot of people are vaccinated already. I'm half vaccinated. I've, I'm, I'm, I've done one of two doses. So my second dose is at the end of this month. Oh, oh my God. All right. Now I'm fucked. All right, god damn it. Well, I just let off a fucking heavy like an idiot. All right, we need him to throw this and I need to not get wrecked by it. Oh man. Oh yeah, baby. All right. I still can't believe I fucked up that Namor fight somehow. I thought he still had power, man. I just, I just don't understand. I don't think I understand what happened. All right. Anyway, Ugh. Fuck. stream is lagging. Damn it, dude. I really don't know how to fix that because this happens pretty often. Is that what happened, uh, Penis? You can keep medium backdrafting, but Terex sometimes throws a light and throws off the balance. What I don't understand is that he had the rock field active and he had power. I, I, am I wrong? I, I just, I think I always assumed, oh, he loses power faster the longer the rock field stays up. Yeah, that's what happened. He drains more power as the fight goes on. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yo, Vega! What up, buddy? I can't believe I'm going to miss this. I have a kid's birthday party to go to. Dude, Vega. I know it's Saturday, and I know that uh, Saturday is is Vega Family Day, man. Um, I'm at, I was bummed. I was thinking about this earlier because I know that you and I had talked last week about when I was going to stream the Gauntlet, and the plan was Sunday. Um, and when I was like, "Shit!" I so we have softball tomorrow, and the game is at a different time. It's just like right in the middle of the day, so I wasn't going to be able to stream it tomorrow. So I was like, all right, I'm going to have to stream it today. And then I was like, damn it, Vega's going to be be with his family. But that's okay. Yeah, MSD, I know. I just totally – oh, revive counter? Yeah. So I haven't done any revives yet, but I'm obviously going to. Let's, let's get a revive counter up there. That's a good idea. All right, Happy Pride Month is going to have to move. You know what? Happy Pride Month to everybody. Um, just know that know that I mean it, because it's gonna come down. Because I gotta put the rebuds in here. Um, potions. We're not gonna do potions. We're just gonna do revives. And I don't have any team revives, so you know that this is gonna be great. All right, revives. You know what? We can fit Happy Pride Month. In. All right, 
there you go. Yeah, that's good. All right, revives. <clears throat> Hit another homer for me, please, dude. I hope so. I am so due for a dinger. I haven't had any this season. Uh, last week I had a ball that hit the fence, and I I stopped running too. I was I did like a Bryce Harper out of the box. I was like, oh, this is gone, and so I was kind of like lollygagging, and then it didn't. So I ended up at second base, just a real asshole, you know. Um, all right, heal. I definitely should be healing uh, to full here, right? Oh, Miyambi, you haven't uh, you haven't played softball in a year. Man. Yeah, we started back up in April. So I'm super rusty, man. But okay, attackers power draining abilities, blah, don't care. Surging vengeance, nah, don't care. Okay. So this is this is really just an RNG fiesta, right? We just gotta make sure. You know what? Petrify would actually be really good here. All right, let's let's change masteries real quick. Let's just throw. I just want to throw on petrify so that, or I'm sorry, um, pacify. So that, uh, yeah. All right. So we need one. We need four points. Why do I need despair? MSD. I feel like I don't need despair. Buddy Lee, what up, bro? I've been loving your channel lately, Buddy Lee. You have been doing an amazing job with your channel, man. For real. Gosh, it's going to cost me so many units to undo this. Should I, I think I should just wing it, dude. And by wing it, I mean not worry about pacify. Even though that's such a good idea. It's super smart, but that's right. Um, <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we can uh, get lucky here. All right, let's try to bait this SB2 just, you know, just in case he synthesizes. Does this have all or nothing or some bullshit? Should I just go for it, or should I try to bait this out? This is a little suspicious. What the fuck, dude? Hello? Oh wait, it is sur it's surging vengeance. Okay. What? What? What am I doing? He has Surging Vengeance. All right. Could be helpful for Sasquatch, depending on who you're using. Boost up. Well, I'm dead right now anyway, right? Oh, bait specials in order. Yeah, okay. God damn it, dude. What a fucking idiot. All right. <laughs> All right, so I just... So that's one revive and two... Of the really the level six potions wasted, just completely wasted because I didn't pay attention to the nodes. Pretty typical. All right, God, I don't have any potions either. That's the other thing that that sucks. Uh, let's just do a twenty percenter here. All right, let's update the revive counter. This is uh, this is gonna be a nightmare, but we've got units and. I'm not going to be using them for war anytime soon, so. YOLO. All right, Surging Vengeance. God damn it. You know, I, I looked at it, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's the one where he gains a buff. Yeah, anyway. Just a dummy. Just a big dummy. Just hope he doesn't synthesize here. How the fuck, dude? 
Alright, I'm gonna start taking some block hits, maybe. Build up the power, then I'm gonna have to build up my prowess without touching him. This is gonna be awesome. I'm I'm like not getting lucky with my perfect blocks either. Alright, perfect. This fight is over. What what am I supposed to do here? Quake is also fine. Yeah, all right, we can try Quake. What up, Jay Will? How you doing, buddy? Put on a mutant power boost. Uh, dance and bait it out. You didn't bait his SP2. Okay. All right, quick. Quick it is, man. Fuck it. Just have to bait SP2. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what I was doing, man. Apparently, I didn't I didn't do it right. All right, let's get him to an SP1 real quick. Let's bait this out. All right, well, let's just try to quake this thing. Wow, that was cool. Oh, it's gonna take forever, fuck. Actually, it probably won't take forever because I'm sure I'm gonna die pretty soon. What just happened? Um. <clears throat> Lags did it solo in one SP3 with suicides. God, dude. Yeah, I, I, I definitely probably could have. Okay. All right, I guess we can put on mutant boost. All right, let's definitely do one of these guys since, you know, we've got a lot of them. Power boost. Gosh, it feels so dirty to... I feel like I'm wasting those boosts. I use, I use those in war, and I know that I'm not going to be doing war for a while, but... I don't know. Um... <clears throat> All right, so only heavies charge a lot without hitting him, and I just gotta bait his specials in order. That makes that that all makes sense. Oh, I should also try to push him close to an SP two. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter actually. All right. All right, now we gotta bait this out. All right, we gotta hope we don't get lucky. Okay, this so this should. <laughs> I'm just dumb. As long as he doesn't get synthesis, this we should be okay here. If he does get synthesis, then I'm just gonna die again. I should probably go into a combo here. That's all right. All right, let's see what this does. This sh hopefully this will kill him. I don't know. Probably not. Oh my god. Okay, that's gonna kill him. Okay. Well, I feel pretty embarrassed about uh, dying twice to this guy with Magneto. Jesus Christ. Or I, I guess I only died once to him with Magneto. The other was with Quake. Also, pretty embarrassing fight. Okay. <clears throat> Modoc. Let's see. Who? What are we doing for this one? Hard Knock Life. Perfect. Stun Vulnerability. Uh, we could do... We could do Archangel for this. So he won't be affected by the Disorient. Is that uh, what I should be doing here? 
Kraviton, what up, man? Haven't got one of your streams in way too long. Hope you're doing good, bud. I'm doing pretty good. Oh, 12% mutant booster in the store right now, too. Nice. So since I haven't done any uh, war lately, I've only got 29,000 loyalty. So. Um, all right, so... Uh, Mags, Quake, Apoc. Um, Apoc does gain disorient immunity. So that's... Mags. I mean Mags. Alright, let's just do Mags. Parry heavy with uh, with Apoc. Is that what you're saying? Alright, let's try Mags since he's almost dead anyway. And uh, he should be getting a lot, of, a lot of damage on his heavies and stuff. Uh, let's back off real quick. That's a lot of damage. Oops, I assume the parry. Just... Don't assume the parry when uh, when you when you you've got disorient whatever that note is. Why why would I do that? Okay, so uh, Archangel, I suppose we're gonna try him. AA is affected by reduction outside of champions. What does that mean? Uh, R three six star undupe mag or duped havoc. Oh, that's a really interesting question. Um, I'd probably go Duped Havoc just because Magneto at rank 2 is so good anyway, you know. I think Distorient still reduces AA's ability accuracy. Oh, does it? Alright, so let's go in with um, with Apocalypse then. We'll at least gain immunity to it. Every time the attacker performs, blah, blah. Alright, we don't need to read that. We know that. Um, <clears throat> oh, he's a, hmm. all right, ooh, maximum flux increases by 25%, that means that, uh, his ability accuracy will be increased, all right, um, <clears throat> all right, let's go with Apocalypse, just do heavies, that's what MSD said, makes sense, We've also got deep wounds on, which will help. Let me just back off for a sec. Let uh, let myself gain this immunity. Boom. Immunity. Heavies only. Let's evade this SP1 real quick. MSD, you're you're a clever dude, buddy. You are awful clever. All right. So this will just take a, a second, but we should be, I mean, this should be super, super easy until I screw up in SP1 decks and get completely wrecked, which I don't know when that's going to happen, but it's going to happen. Let's get a few heavies off here while he's stuck in the corner. Uh, oh, gotta love that. All right, that was actually a really bad idea to throw this at SP3, because he's going to be at an SP2, right? And I'm not going to evade that. So, all right, I just totally screwed myself. Oh, no, I'm fucked. Oh, it's not unblockable? Oh, just as SP1? Okay. All right, then we're set. Oh. Apocalypse is so amazing. So... My two favorite champs in the game right now are Apocalypse and uh, Shang-Chi. My favorite to play is Shang-Chi. Um, but I love playing Apocalypse also. Like, he is a ton of fun to play. Um, and there's just so much that you can do with him, man. He's just, he's amazing. Amazing champ design.
Let's just let's just keep effing him here in the corner, man. Cause that there is nothing more more enjoyable than corner locking somebody with a heavy attack. All right, let's back off. Let's get this SP3 up. Dude, uh, all of Apocalypse's genetic immunities that he gains are, I mean, he's just crazy, man. <laughs> like, Disorient, like, it's, it's, it seems like such a, uh, such a niche immunity to gain. But, man, he is just a beast. I'm just waiting for the for the point where I screw up an SP1 dex. It's got to be coming here shortly since we're so close to the end of this fight. And you guys know that I'm not going to like get through this fight without dying. I might shit. Man, Apocalypse is just nasty. Nasty. MSD, huge assist, buddy. Nice work. Huge assist. Uh, while he is immune to reduction from champions themselves, nodes like this can still reduce AA. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Must be some, some of the fine print shit. How did I not know that? Like, that's ridiculous. All right, this is going to be another a or uh, apocalypse fight, I think, right? I know that, uh, MSD, you used Apocalypse on this, right? Um, <clears throat> wait a minute. There's no way. I can't use Apocalypse on this fight with debuff immunity, right? What the hell the fuck am I going to get through this one? Uh, MSD, what, what do I do, man? I guess I guess I could gain evade immunity here with apocalypse and just I could I could revive quake too quake yeah fuck dude Oh man uh I don't like quaking this guy Use professor x yeah that makes sense I do have professor x at rank 2 but yeah um, my God, dude. All right. <clears throat> Let's update, update the revive counter. His heavy is what gets me, dude. His heavy uh, has like way more reach than it should, I think. <sighs> Yikes. All right, this is going to suck. Uh, used APOC. Yeah, I might go in with Apocalypse here in a second. Dude, damn Epic Whale. <laughs> Coming in with a $21 taco, just so we can be in front of Maximus. I love the competitive nature, buddy. And, uh, of course, $21 is going to pay for, like, eight tacos. So, that's... That's pretty awesome. Dude, his heavy is so fast. It's bullshit. <laughs> it is bullshit. All right, let's get you up there, dude. Uh, we're going to call you Do. Okay, damn epic whale. Just because typing that out is just, that's a lot. And we want to keep Cashew up there on the top row for now. So there we go. We got everybody up on the top row. But damn epic whale is the... Taco Lord, we better change this too to the Taco Squad. Thank you so much for your generosity, man. I appreciate it. Good luck on the rest of the run, bro. Good to see you playing uh, the game and streaming. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Um, why do you need Namor if you have Quake? Makes no sense. Uh, because I'm an idiot. If you have White Magneto pre-fight, you can parry stun him. Mm. So I could have, I should have just brought um, White Magneto instead of. Uh, Namor. Probably. I don't know. Uh, alright. This is, I, 
this is going to be really embarrassing. So it this it, it requires a lot of courage on my part to uh, to do this fight on stream because I know I'm going to get bonked by his heavy a lot. Uh, I hate quaking this guy. In war, when I've quaked him, I just go parry style because I don't want to deal with with the dexes. Oh, this is going to be terrible. But uh, all right, here we go. <clears throat> Ah, fuck, dude, no! <laughs> dude, I... Ah. I can't quake this guy, dude. I'm not too worried about the... Uh, about the boost. Atromix. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Yeah, I know. Professor X, I know. I've, I've seen a lot of people using Professor X. Here. Let's restart. I don't think so, man. Um, all right, let's just try Apocalypse. I know that it's going to take a very, very long time. Um, but I will gain a vein of unity, which is kind of cool. Oh, Jesus. Ham took you 10 revives. That's not a good sign for me. Oh, my God. Yeah, this, 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 fight, is, this fight is absolutely terrible. All right, come on now. God, he gets so much power too. Like, oh my God, dude. What? Like, oh, he's defensive. He's got defensive too. Oh my God, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Oh man, this is gonna be brutal. Oh my god. Oh fuck you, dude, with your fucking silly heavy. Made fail, bitch. Come on, Mom. Let's go, boy. Ah, fuck you. Little assholes heavy, dude. Oh no, no, no! Oh my god, dude, look at our damage. Dude, we've only taken off 10%. I feel like I've been fighting him for five minutes. Oh my god, this is, this is brutal. Oh. Oh boy. Ah. 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 <laughs> ah. Ah. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Oh boy. Hey buddy. Hey! Oh. Buddy, chill! Fuck, dude! Hey! Fuck this little asshole, dude. 
All right. Get fucked, hoodie. Okay, very cool. <sighs> Might as well YOLO that SP3 before you die, dude. I, I wasn't expecting to get bonked with another heavy. <laughs> All right, we do have, we do have, what, 70% evade uh, immunity at this point. I feel like, I feel like that might be, you know, if I had a team revive, that would be helpful here. Should we go back in with APOC or should we try Quake again? Because Quake, I know I'm going to get just completely wrecked. She might be faster, though. All right, let's just, let's try Quake again here. We're going to use a 20% revive because if I don't get hit, then it doesn't matter. I don't have suicides on. Uh, people in the next room going to be wondering what's going on. Well, fortunately, I live in a house. And my wife knows that when I stream, I'm very noisy. So, I don't know. We will see. <laughs> Mary just hears, fuck this little asshole in the other room. Hey, she knows what's going on. All right, let's update the revive counter. This is going to get ugly, by the way. Those uh, tricky dicksters in chat that have that cleared this entire thing with zero revives. Not me. Not I. <laughs> Not a bad go with apocalypse. Just uh, you know, just did your old eleven percent damage there. All right, let's let's just go in, man. I don't know. I think I'm gonna lose a lot of revives this fight. My only goal here is to survive long enough to get um, one aftershock in. And yeah, I, I've done that. Oh my god, dude. His animations are so hard for me to follow. Like there. I mean I just I'm gonna I'm gonna screw up and release some heavies here just because his animations I'm essentially guessing on his animations like where they end I, it's pretty much a guess so it's just how long can I last there we go <laughs> taters only fans coming 2021 that doesn't leave me a whole lot of time to get that set up but uh, I, I think I'm gonna pass on that um, dude, thank you again. You're up to $23 in taco money, man, and that's, that's a lot. Uh, you did this blindfolded? I'm sure you did, bud. <laughs> I'm sure you did. With Kamala? What's, what's Kamala have? Uh, what? Does she have some that's, that's awesome for this fight? Just saying I did this in zero revives with zero potions? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> Can Kingpin do this fight? Ugh. Sweet, it's your birthday? Wait a minute. Did I miss something? Is it really Sweet's birthday? Let me scroll up in the chat. Oh, he's joking? Wait, who's joking? Only tacos. Yeah, there we go. Dude, Triple U, come on, man. You know I don't fuck with... I actually do fuck with some Taco Bell sometimes. But when I'm talking about taco money, no. Hell no, man. No. Absolutely not, dude. These tacos go to legitimate tacos. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any taco trucks around here. So they, they can't go to, like, the best kind of tacos. Taco trucks, but... Um, 
All right, I think um, I think I kind of I think the maybe the best thing is just to go quake. You know, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I think what I'm supposed to do is just go quake, just try to chip off like 10 to 15 percent damage, and um, and get ripped. It's your birthday. All right, we got to do something special for Sweeta. I don't know how or what it's going to be, but let's do, uh, you know what, let's, for all the, for all the people um, out there that are uh, celebrating Pride Month, happy Pride Month, but also happy birthday to Sweeta. Wow. All right. Boom. There we go, buddy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, okay. <clears throat> Ooh, dude. Maybe we should order some DoorDash in honor of Sweetest birthday. That's a pretty good idea, man. Executioner, what up, G? How you doing, man? I bet you guys are a little bit excited about the uh, the War Rewards buff. Um, oh, we got to update the Revives counter, too, because uh, this is it's going to get out of hand on this fight. My goal is 15% every Revive on this little shithead. All right, here we go. I wonder what would happen if I tried to play him parry style here, even though he's stun immune. Oh my god, dude. I can't even see. Fuck me, dude. Fuck. What are we doing? Just apocalypse then? Ugh, fuck, dude. God, I, not having any revives or potions too is, is uh, definitely helpful. Alright. It's a revive counter. Uh, oh, dude, I know what we could do. Here, let's do this. Tag Sweeta in chat to wish him... Uh-oh, we're running out of room. Happy birthday. We can, uh, there we go. There we go. Let's, um, let's assault Sweeta in chat with all of our tags. Uh, ooh, PDWF, Clown yelled at me for not wanting to quake this guy on encroaching stun during the season. Did he now? Uh, there was one, there was one time when I assigned myself, <laughs> there was one time when I assigned myself, uh, Apocalypse for Spider-Ham in War, but I actually, just based on the node, I decided it was probably smarter if I just quaked him, but parry style. Now this fight is way, way different because he's debuff immune and, you know, I don't know how much attack he's got, 18,000 attack. So it's, it doesn't work. Um, but if you can parry this guy, then Quake is a lot better. He's a lot more manageable, or she's a lot more manageable for him. But, um, yeah, I don't know. 
Uh, this is th trying to fully dex this guy with Quake t for me is it's one of the it's one of the ones that I can't do it. The animations are just too funky, man. I just can't I can't figure it out. So we're just gonna do uh, the super long version of Apocalypse fights here. All right, once I get to a bar of power, he's going to start getting spider nonsense. And I want him to evade so that I can gain... I, I would like to eventually get up to 100% evade immunity. And then it's just baiting, you know, it's just a, baiting his specials fight. He is a little stingy butt snitcher, though. I totally made that up and it makes no sense. Butt snitcher. I'm trying to like not be too profane because it's a side of myself that frankly I'm I'm embarrassed about. I've got a I've got a potty mouth. Alright, there we go. Gained one. Alright, nice. One more evade and then we're fully Good. Oh, you little shit. Alright, let's get this last evade here. Nope. Come on, man. Oh. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh, fuck you. Ah! God, I hate this little dick. Oh, oh, man. Oh, yeah, there we go. Just take it. That's perfect. All right. If I could just get that last evade, man, that would help me a lot. Oh. All right, should we just YOLO this at this point? Fuck. B. Daniels, what up? Dude, throwing the $5 Takarooski at me. All right, one sec, B. Daniels. Let me just die real quick. All right. All right, let's get B. Daniels. I'll let you guys enjoy this SP3 animation while we get B. Daniels up here. This is going to kill me, right? Like, it's definitely going to kill me, right? Yeah. All right, all right it look, it's looking like Cashews is going to get bumped, man. But Cashew, love you, buddy. Thank you so much. All right. B. Daniels. With the five buckarooski. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm a little hungover. How is your life? My life is pretty good. I think. Not too bad. Not too bad. I mean, honestly, like, in the moment right now, I'm not enjoying my life a whole lot. But, uh, you know. In general... It's good. Break is going well. Um, yeah. All right. Revive counter. Yikes. Up to seven once I pump a revive into one of these losers. I don't know who it's going to be. I guess Quake again. <laughs> Should we just keep trying Quake? She's at least getting like 10% off if I can just survive an Aftershock. And I don't have to use potions with her because, yeah, not worth it. Uh, blimey, alliance requirements to join for Doge. Oh man, you have to be a really special person, and uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hmm, I'll have to think about it. There's only one other person in for Doge right now. And uh, that is another four Loki guy that um, just 
you know, needed to take a break. He's actually got a, a good reason. Mine is just because I was just too stressed out. Um, but he is like a semi-professional bowler, and he's got bowling, and uh, anyway. I have to sacrifice a dog? Hell no, man. That's a... No way. No way. Dude! Sweeta, thank you, man. You, uh, you did not need to do that. It's your birthday. We should be donating money to you, man. All right, hold on. Let's go over to, uh, here, let me see if I can pull something up real quick. I don't know if this is going to reveal my name if I, if I try to do this. Hold on. Just hang tight, hang tight. Let's see if we can switch over to desktop. Um, window capture? See, I don't know if I, I can do this, actually. Display capture? There we go. All right, let's go over to Sweeta. First of all, what is... How much is that? Swedish Krona. Dude, it sounds so cool. Dude, thank you. All right. Let's go over to... Uh, let's go to Swedish channel. Oops. All right. How do we... Uh, I guess let's click on a video real quick, maybe? I'm sure he's got something. There we are. The perfect collector solo. This is why I... Let's go over to Sweeta. Streamlabs. This is probably going to reveal my name, I think. Which, ultimately, it's not a huge deal. Oh, I, I need to log in first. All right. Give me just a second, guys. I need to hide this a little bit because... While I don't really care... If you guys know what my name is, there are a couple people I just don't think that they need to know what my name is. Um, hmm. Oh, there we go. Alright, hopefully you guys can't see this, because if you can, I'm... Alright, you can. Good. Logging in with PayPal. Yeah, sure. It's like asking for consent. <laughs> uh, what's this? Logging in with PayPal account is for viewers only and used to manage a viewer pro description. We were unable to find a viewer pro subscription linked to this PayPal account. Oh, that's weird. Um, that's never happened to me before, I don't think. All right, let's log in with YouTube. Oops, hold on. Fuck, dude, I keep messing this up. Uh, Alright, log in with YouTube. Just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. Trust me. Spider-Ham is not going anywhere. He is eagerly awaiting my return so he can spank me some more. And I can't wait. Alright. Okay, perfect. I think we're logged in, man. I don't know. I'm very, very confused by this. All right, there we go. All right, let's get the screen back up so you guys can see what we're doing. All right, Lud and Taters. Let's do, let's do a $25 tip for Sweeta for his birthday. Hmm. Ooh, you can do, oh, look at this. You can do uh, some gifts. Ah, this guy's looking good. I'm liking this guy. Yeah, that's like a dollar. All right. Uh, you guys might know my name here in a second. I don't know. Uh-oh. All right, you guys can't see this.
Oh, yeah, you guys would have gotten the full shebang. Hey, now. Yeah, baby. All right, happy birthday to Sweeta. Thank you, bro. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, let's go back to the stream and uh, get wrecked. We do have to put him up on the dono board. Hobby. No, I love you, buddy. You're getting bumped down the road, too, though. Noise, dude, executioner, sending over, is that Turkish? Tell us your name. Ugh. I don't know if I can do that, man. All right, let's see what you got working, baby. All right, we're going to have to make room for you up there, too, man. Thank you. All right, you're going to have to be on uh, line two with Hobbs and Cashew because it's Sweet's birthday. But, brother, thank you. That's some good taco money right there. Yeah. That is, what is this? 23, 20, that's 43, 48, 51, 54. $58 for tacos, guys. Like, that's so many tacos, you don't understand. $58, a taco is like $3. So, it's like 20 tacos almost. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Uh, and if you guys have been dropping some comments, I'm really sorry because I have not been paying attention. Uh, KG Tater's real name is Chad McChad. Close. His real name is John. Kabam John? Uh, Lags' name is Brandon. Yes, that's true. And Lags doesn't mind if you guys know his name. So I don't really mind if you know my name. But, you know. There's like one person out there that I, I don't really want them to know my name. And they might already know my name. I don't really know. But, uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, just in case. <laughs> Mr. Newman, exactly. It, I, I kind of blew my cover already. So, all right, let's go back in here with Quake. This is going to be awesome. I just want to last through one full Aftershock cycle. He's at 61% health. Let's see if we can get him down to 50% or just 50% health. That's the goal in this, this fight here, 50%. I think I'm going to have to survive. That's, yeah, 50% is not going to happen. Because <laughs> that's like... That's like four, fuck, dude. That's like four Aftershock Cycles. I'm through two Aftershock Cycles. And he's only down 5%. Yeah, so, all right, boom, dead. I missed two from you, B-Daniels? Dude, I'm sorry. Oh, damn, wait, your name isn't Taters? Nothing makes sense now. <laughs> wait a minute. B-Daniels, you donated... <laughs> B. Daniels donated another $3 to make sure that I knew that he donated $2 previously unaccounted for. But that gets him up to a $10 taco, so that's big time. Uh, all right, we took off 5%. Not really what we want to do, guys. Not really what we're looking to do. I think we got to go back to Pylips? This fight sucks ass, dude. How many revives was I at when I entered this fight? Two. I spent two, right? I think I had spent two. So we're on five revives on this fight. It's going to be six here. Oh, God damn it. All right, I do think that I can survive a couple whacks from him. So let's do, we're going to do the big feller. 
And we're just going to heal him up to full here. This might be a mistake. It might be poor resource management. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, exactly, Clown. I think we're just going to leave it. Pe a lot of people in 4 Loki, I think, know my name. But uh, I got to keep it. I got to keep it uh, with the 4 Loki crew. And if you – there have been times in the past on streams where I've accidentally revealed my name, but I didn't bring attention to it. So if you want to go back and watch every hour of my streams and, and look for it, then uh, it's out there. It's out there, but – all right. All right, we got to get to a bar of power. That's goal number one. All right, there's a bar of power. Now we gain spider nonsense. And what I'd like to do is get to 100% evade immunity. So I just need him to evade. The way that the immunity thing works, though, is that it's like he has a 90% a reduced chance of evading. As opposed to he'll evade normally until I'm at 100%. So Apocalypse, you know, evade immunity or whatever works differently than, than like, uh, oh, I don't know. It's like he has 90% reduced uh, chance to evade. Which is cool in some cases, but I'd also just prefer he just evade real quick so that I can get this to 100 Okay, there he, so he evaded, that's good. So now he can't evade anymore. Oh no. All right, back up, back up, back up. No, fuck. God, dude, fuck this fight. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Mary has said your name before. Oh, really? <laughs> That's very possible. I don't know. I don't know. My name is Will, but keep <laughs> but keep it to this group. Yes, Will. Uh, it'll be our secret. Immortal, what's up, man? Just keep baiting his SP1s. I know, man. I, I'm trying... I'm trying, but then, um, yeah, then I me mess it. All right. Um, are we on eight revives or nine? I actually don't know if I counted that last one. We'll go with eight because eight is better than nine, at least uh, for my ego. This is going to get really bad because I'm already going to be dipping into the um, the stash, the, <laughs> the, uh, potion stat or revive stash. Oh my God. You got to be aggressive with hitting his block. Even that means doing a full bar, just hitting his block. Okay. All right. That makes sense. All right. So we can, we can optimize this fight a lot better than I've been doing, which is good. A improvement, uh, improvement is out there, which is, which is good. All right. Let's just, let's smash into his block a little bit. I do want to get up to a bar of power. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter anymore because he's got a bait immunity. All right. Hit it into his block. Bait this SP1. Dude, look at this. Like, you get three hits in. Oh, dude, Aaron. What? Aaron with a $20 Takaruski? Thank you so much, dude. All right, give me just a moment here. Once I get my clock cleaned by this guy, we'll get you up on the taco board. You know, when I when I decided that I was going to do, um, do this stream, I was not thinking that I was going to uh, spend a ton of revives on, on one fight. I was thinking, like, even if I played terribly... Oh boy. Even if I play terribly, you know. 
I can, um... I can get through each fight in, like, one to two revives. Maybe three or four if I'm, like, having a really bad time. But, uh, this guy's looking like... This feels like the Collector. The Abyss Collector. Like, just trying to chip away 10% every time you revive. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, but, yeah. I also wonder at what point should I just start throwing my SP3 and just try to get as much damage as I can. I don't know. Man. Oh boy. Dude, what the fuck, dude? How- who were people using for this fight? I saw Legacy using Ghost. That didn't really look that much fun. Oh, I guess Professor X, a few people said that. Yeah, Professor X could solo this for sure with the power control. God damn it, dude. <clears throat> At least I gained evade immunity, man. I don't know. Oh my god. Oh, that was a mistake. All right. We're going for it because I don't think I can survive another uh, blocked SP2. I did this fight in three ri revives with Corvus. God damn it. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Got to get our boy Aaron up there on the taco board. Oh, no. It's bumping the birthday boy down. That's all right. He'll understand. Aaron, dude, thank you, man. What? 420. <laughs> oh, and me, Daniel's bumping up his taco. He's gonna, he's upgrading. Getting some, throwing some gear on that taco money. Love it. Uh, Mac, what's up, man? I use Corvus with Proxima. Yeah. I don't know. I, I mean, I have a, a five-star Corvus, but... Um... Yeah, Aegon could have worked here. Professor X, I think, sounds like the best option. You get the power control, crazy damage, evade uh, counter. Professor X so sounds like he would probably be the best option, I think. Unless, unless you're just insanely good with Quake against this guy, and you're like, yeah, I can just Quake this guy. Um, let's Speaking of, let's just go back to Quake. Because with Quake, I can just use these tiny-ass revives here. Uh, because I'm only going to get off 5% anyway. Oh my god. I just can't wait for this fight to be over. Like, I am so excited for this fight to be over. Two revives with Apocalypse? What? I know that, uh, I know that I'm not very good when I'm streaming, but like... Man. Oh, wait. No. Alright, quick. Alright, quick. Let's go. What? I wonder if I played him, try to play him parry style. I'm gonna try that just to see if I can survive some of the block damage. Nope. Alright, that was 7% through my block, so that's not gonna work. I thought you were supposed to be defensive, bud. That, not looking too defensive right now. Defense of my anus, buddy. Jesus Christ, chill. This is a good run for me with Quake. Deck style against this guy, man. I'm lucky to survive one Aftershock cycle, honestly. Oh, come on, come on.
My hands are so sticky right now. Oh, fuck. This, to me, this is amazing. Like, knowing how bad I am against him with Quake, I can't believe I've survived this long. I am I am very due for a, to get wrecked here. No. All right. Ooh, that's okay. I'm I'm very happy with that. That's better than I expected. Oh, it feels like Professor X is the only one who can actually control the fight. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. Just be able to power lock him, just rip off a bunch of specials, get that crazy damage, building prowess. He really is perfect for this fight. I'm, sh I I'm sure that they designed this fight with him in mind. Like, let's design a fight that Professor X is by far the best option for, just to see how many people can figure that out. And, yeah. All right. I am going to use Apocalypse from here on out because... Hmm. Actually. All right. I think I should go back to Quake, but I do. I want to end this fight with Apocalypse to get a uh, pick up the genetic code. But yeah, we'll just do we'll just do Quake until he's like almost dead. Uh, this fight sucks. This fight sucks. All right. Revive counter. If we get to twenty five, I'm just gonna erase the revive counter. <laughs> uh, and hands are so sweaty, but uh, I'm in it right now. I can't, can't go wash them. All right, let's go. We've been streaming for two hours. Jesus. Oh, God damn it. Oh, man. What's the next fight? God, I cannot wait for that. Ghost Dog, what up, G? How you doing, man? I think I have to wash my hands, guys. I just can't not wash my hands right now. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, fresh hands. Here we go. Here's a tip. Try to focus on the sound of his hits to decks on time. That is, um, that's a good tip. However, I don't have any sound right now. I have zero game sound because of the streaming uh, platform that I'm using or the streaming device. I'm using an Elgato with a fucking whole jig thing set up. And, um... And it just funnels the sound through the through the device to to the streaming to the Streamlabs. So I uh, I can't hear anything. Uh, that's another disadvantage. At least I think that that's that. First of all, that's why people use headsets when they're streaming, so they can hear uh, the game sound. But also, it's one of the disadvantages of, of doing something competitive when you're streaming because uh, I do I do use game sound a lot, especially with Quake. Quake and Ghost are kind of the two main ones. But <laughs> I 
Bro, washing your hands won't do anything. Bring a fan and that will solve the issue on the on a long run. Um, well, I do have a fan going on. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the ceiling fan is going. Uh, it's on medium too. So it's spinning quite quickly. And uh, it does it does make a difference when I wash my hands because they get sticky and sweaty. So just get to wash it off and then uh, we're all set. OJ, what up, dude? Yeah! Dude, Dilly, what up? Yeah, I used to play this game without sound all the time. And then I started doing my war fights with sound on and it helped a lot. Um, and so now anytime I do alliance quest, war, or typically if I'm doing some kind of challenging content where it benefits me greatly to try my hardest, <laughs> game sound helps a lot. Unfortunately, I can't hear game sound when I'm streaming, so I'm sacrificing that ability to hear what's going on so that uh, I can share the stream with you guys. Hermie, what up? It does. It makes a big difference, Kat, especially when you're using, like, Quake and stuff. But, um, I don't know, man. It is what it is. All right. Let's go back in and get smoshed again. I want to get 10%. If I can do 10%, I'll just go back to Apocalypse and we can try to finish with him. So we can get, I don't know what the fight what he started with, how much health he started with. But if we can get him down to like 5% health, that would be cool. All right. That's not going to happen. We're just going to go to Apocalypse now. Uh, great to see this uh, pop up in my feed. Warms my heart, dude. Nice. You've never played MCOC with sound? I wonder I wonder if it would make a difference for you, man, if you turned it on. I guess it It really... I think it, it doesn't really matter if you're... Depending on the champs that you use. Like, that's kind of the key. Like, when I started using Quake a lot in War... Uh, the sound really, really helped. And when I was learning how to play Ghost, um, I had to have the sound on. So it was it was a big deal. Um, all right, let's update the revive counter. God, dude, I can't believe this little freaking asshole. All right, here we're gonna let's let's get sweeted down on the bottom there. Um, well, I'll adjust it, too, because I know that you can't see it right now. Uh, I think I've done... Is this 10 revives on ham? All right. And let's, real quick, let's move this so that everybody can see. All right. <sighs> Fuck, dude. What up, Natalie? How you doing? All right. Uh, Taters, you need a rosin bag next to your desk. Dude, that's a great idea, actually. Wait, what is that on the chair behind you? Oh, this? It's uh, it's not a sex toy, okay? <laughs> I swear to God. This is just a... Uh, so this chair back here, this is a bamboo chair, right? So we were thinking, oh, cool. It's like nice and it's like minimalist design. And we got, I got this like a long, long time ago. We, I can't remember if Mary bought it or not, but um, it looks nice and it's like very unassuming. Uh, but it's hard as fuck, dude. So before I got this chair that I'm sitting on, we had, I got this, uh, this ass pad, which is nice and nice and cushy for my ass cheeks, so that they don't go numb when I when I was sitting in this chair. So that's that is. Uh, I know that it probably looks like one of those sex toy things, but uh, it's not. It is an ass pad for the ass cheeks. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's use some of these useless things over here real quick. Just to, just to use some items for no reason. All right, let's see if I can finish him off. He's got like 10% health. 
Honestly, I don't have a lot of faith in myself that I can even finish him off from here, but we're gonna we're gonna see. Oh, you bastard, dude. Oh, yeah. What a little dickster. Alright, so it's like every... Every seven-ish hits is one percent. Right? I don't know if my math is good on that. It's just actually a guesstimate. It's not even math. I wonder if I should try to pop uh, an SP2 at some point. I, don't know. I wish I paid more attention to previous fights, how much damage my SP3 did, so that I knew what I could, when I could throw the SP3. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start doing double mediums, just for maximum damage. Alright, now we can do a full combo. I wonder if I would kill him right here. I do have a taunt on me, so I don't want to... I want to do that, but... I'm, I'm pretty sure I could kill him at this point if I threw my SP3. If I get if I start getting whacked in the corner or something, or if he gets to an SP2, I'll probably just throw the SP3. Uh, as long as I don't have... A popper on me. Alright, fuck it, dude. There's 0% chance he survives this with... Whatever. Ass pads are a must for long drives. Dude, yeah, I know. I'm sure that you've got a collection of ass pads. Dilly? Josh, what's up, man? Hey, we got through it, dude! That was only 10 revives on spider Ham. So exactly the same amount as Axe. Oh, yeah. That was not fun. We're still at the pig. Yeah, dude. I got completely just just ravaged by this guy. Not with 10 nonsense. Oh, that's true. Yeah, because of his special damage reduction. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, fuck me, dude. All right. This one just goes to the boss. All right. So we want to go to the other guy. Hey, we're only two hours and 15 minutes in here. How many fights we have left? Like 15? Not too. We're making good time. All right, what's this next fight? Please be an easy one. All right, it's Weapon X. Let's read the notes here. Uh, buff duration, recovery, yikes. Outlast. So this is probably going to have to be an Archangel fight. MSD, uh, who did you use on this fight? I guess I could also... Well, Magneto's not going to really matter because he's not going to block his healing. I guess I could just get a bunch of... <laughs> Quarter of the way done. We're on our way to an eight-hour stream. AA, all right. That's what I was thinking. All right, recovery, buff duration. Yeah, all right. So this is just about knowing how to play Weapon X. And I do, but it's been a while. So I'm, you know, I'm sure I'm gonna embarrass myself a little bit. But that's why, that's why I stream to embarrass myself. <sighs> that guy was the worst fight, uh, except maybe Korg, but he's quakeable. Yeah, Korg at least is easier to quake for me. I, I can quake him. I'm sure that I'll screw it up. I could also probably use Apocalypse, and I've got Namor too for Korg. So I've got some options for Korg. Um, all right, let's uh, let's just let's just go in here and let's see what we can do.
Ah, fuck, dude. My thumb stuck. <laughs> I just completely forfeited a heavy attack there. That was dumb. Oh, fuck! Why did I do that? Alright, I got super lucky there. Should I be playing this guy more patiently and letting the rage fall off faster? I wonder. I mean, it should fall off naturally pretty fast. All right, let's just back off and let's let it fall off for a second. Wow. Oh my God. God, that was so stupid. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy fighting Weapon X too, but I just, I just messed up. My brain said that his rage was, was going to fall off and that I could get a parry, <laughs> but he still had like two or three. So, uh, he's a bummer. Um, all right. Yikes, dude. Damn it. Uh, all right, 13, because we're reviving Fire, or Archangel. There we go, that's good enough. All right, whoops. Be nice if I could get some luck with the neuros. There we go. That first fight, I don't think it started very well. Like I, I wasn't building a bunch of neuros or anything. All right. I think I should start trying to build up some neuros again. <clears throat> Bro, that is bullshit. Did you see that? He totally fucking just juked me in the corner like a freaking war boss, dude. Dude, in berserk mode too when he's like, when his AI's aggressiveness is turned up. I just got totally wrecked. I'm watching the playback. That's what I'm doing if you guys are curious. So one second. He stuttered at me, dude. That's bullshit. It's fine. It's fine. God, so stupid. Can I finish this guy with Apocalypse? Or is his regen going to be too much? Use Apocalypse? Okay, that's kind of what I was thinking. Dude, I can't believe he stutter stepped me, man. Fuck. Ugh, what a little ass face, dude. Oh no, uh, what, what am I doing? Alright, I'll just gain bleed immunity then, bitch. <laughs> oh, 
Dude, I would just I was so fucked on that fight from the start, dude. Oh my god. Oh, we gotta re update the revive counter. God, this is so bad. Jesus, dude. Alright, I do think it's smart to finish with Apocalypse. Oh, he's got four charges now anyway. Man, alright, let's use Archangel then. I can't believe he stutter stepped me in. That is, that's bullshit. Bullshit. All right, let's get off some neuros here. This should have fucking been a solo, man. God. What is happening, sir? Fuck you, man. Make AA a horseman? Um, I might for future fights, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, thing. What the f who the fuck am I gonna use for this? I guess we could use Apocalypse or Quake. Bleed and poison. Unblockable. Oscillate. I did not I did not plan for this. I think I'm thinking now. Wait a minute, he's got ble shifting bleed and poison me? That's stupid. Um, I think Aegon would have been a good idea for me. <laughs> uh, I called myself a mistress? Oh my god, what the hell was I thinking? Alright, Apocalypse. We've got Apocalypse, we've got Quake, we've got options. Um... I think I want to use Apocalypse, probably. Quake would be such a long fight. Let's just, let's try Apocalypse first. I know that I'm going to get completely wrecked. Here, let's grab the revives from my stash. See what we have left. Oh, man. But how do I even get there? I don't even know how to get to the fuck in my stash. Mm. Namor, Magneto. A lot of people are saying that they soloed with Apocalypse. Um, I know that Quake. I know that I can do it with Quake if I'm able to just focus <laughs> for whatever 15 minutes, however long it's gonna take. 10, like I, I'm guessing. I have no idea, but uh, let's let's see how I can do with Apocalypse because I, you know, uh, let's just see. You did piggy with three revives, uh, three revives with the Professor X. Yeah, I I do think that if if I had brought Professor X, uh, I mean he would have obviously made that fight a, a lot easier. But it was a story you told uh, us while Brian was on call, and it was about how you forgot to wear your ring when you were out with Mary. Oh yeah, dude, we just went out the other day too. To um, where do we go? Oh. Um, we went to get vaccine shots, and I didn't have my ring. And she did. I don't think she wore her ring either. But um, yeah. All right. Here we go. Apocalypse. I use strife for this thing. Pfft. Dude, I'm not. I'm not much on strife, man. I'm not. Not a huge fan. I mean, he's actually. He's. He's actually really fun. So I'm not like against strife. But um, come on, buddy. Wow, there's a fucking crazy noob ass bitch. Me. What in the hell, dude? Oh, because it's got oscillate. Alright.
There goes my fucking weakness. God, dude. Fuck. God, he even tried to fucking catch me. God, dude, I just got fucked, dude, by Apocalypse Concussion. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Alright, I guess we're going with the SP3, man. Fuck, I don't know what, what else to do. God, I could have, I could have sold this fight, dude. Just fuck, fuck. Got caught twice on dashbacks, like a complete bitch. weakness going. Oh no. I'm just... It's not gonna be a solo, that's for damn sure. I know, I, I'm trying to squeeze in heavies, but I, I didn't want to take any block damage, unfortunately. I uh, screwed myself. Alright, let's go to Quake. Should I go to Quake? Yeah, let's go to Quake. Alright, revive counter. I'd order wreck. <clears throat> All right, with Quick, we don't have to fill her up on potions, which is nice. Let's just see how long I can last, because I'm, I'm going to fuck up. That That's not in question. <laughs> I'm definitely going to fuck up. Quake is, or I'm sorry, Thing is typically one of the easier guys to Quake, too. 
just because of his animations, his his medium attack is so obvious. But I I will I will fuck this up and embarrass myself, I guarantee you. How much damage are we getting in per aftershock? It's like four percent? That's not great. My, my right hand is getting so sweaty. It's like three, probably three aftershock cycles left. I don't know. I do have assassin, but it's only two points. It's going to be probably two or three more aftershock cycles here if I can survive it. I'm, this is this is typically where I make mistakes. Oh, with the oscillate armor, I think does that increase physical resistance? I don't know. Oh, God, with protection, too, that's... Alright, one more cycle and he's dead, if I can survive it. Oh my God, one more cycle? Fuck, dude. <sighs> Zill, I lose focus after three to five minutes. Same. Absolutely the same. Um, so, yeah. All right, let's see what the option is here. I, I know that Quake is going to be an option, but with class disadvantage, 850,000 health, no suicides. Oh, my God, dude. All right, Mixmaster. I could use Apocalypse. Flux Dispersal, what's that? Ah, yeah, okay. That's not great. Each time a defender is struck, they gain a Gauss Charge, increasing their block penetration by 5%. One Gauss Charge is removed each second while they are afflicted with a Shock Debuff. What? Well, I'm not going to be inflicting any shock debuffs, that's for sure. Uh, Taters, if you're planning to do a horseman, do it before Nightcrawler to be able to get Apoc, uh, Apoc to forge genetic code again. Yeah, for sure. Taters, what's my name? What up, Dinas? Dude, Hen! Funny how Oscillate defensiveness isn't as intense against Quake, but they'll sit it uh, in the they'll sit in the corner against other attackers. I know it's so weird. I think the AI just thinks like, oh, this person's charging a heavy, like, let me get in a free hit. Uh, Tint, what's up, dude? Welcome to the stream, man. Uh, you came in at the, I hope you just came in during that Quake fight, because <laughs> that actually went fairly well. The Spider-Ham fight, I hope you missed that. Uh, that was terrible. All right, um, let's go in with Quake since I've got her 
still. Let's see what the dogs are barking at. I didn't order any DoorDash, so I don't know. It's probably like a rabbit. Uh, all right. Let's just do Quake for a bit, and then maybe we'll go to APOC just to mix it up. I don't enjoy quaking for like 10 minutes at a time. And I'm sure that uh, Tipped is very excited that I'm just using Quake for this content. Wow, his animations are way, way more herky-jerky than I remember. So th I, I'm not going to last long in this fight, I can promise. Each cycle is like... God, I'm going to have to do like 50 Aftershock cycles. Yeah, that's what I thought. I mean, I'm not going <laughs> to... We're not going to get there, but... Oof, man, I, th I thought he almost caught me there. <sighs> ah, shit. Some boost, oh, that's a good idea. I can use some of the small boosts. Um, let me let, let's try Apocalypse here. Let me just reread this stuff. All right, we've got aggressive flux dispersal. All right, so, hmm. All right, so I guess. Oh, maybe I maybe I sh am not going to use Apocalypse here. Uh, Professor X would be pretty cool for this fight. I could also just continue to use Quake. I mean, I should be able to get off like 25% every go. I don't uh, this fight was a nightmare with me having Doom being the only option. Oh, yeah, I could see that being really rough. With the, um... With, uh, Flux Dispersal. Um, alright, let's, let's, uh... Let's, let's do it with Quake again. God, I hate just using Quake, but let's just, let's go back to Quake real quick. Uh, let's boost up a little bit. Can use one of these bigger ones. It's thirty minute boost. All right, Let's do. I guess a ten percent boost because I get a lot of these from the crystal. Those uh, free crystals that I open up. This. If we just if we're using Quake, then it won't matter the health. I don't know. So hey, what's up, man? Um, I, I saw a comment asking why I didn't bring Professor X if I've mentioned him as an option for several fights. Um, I honestly I probably should have brought him. I have him at rank two, not at rank three. So I don't know. I don't know, honestly.
Fudge. Fudge. I hate that when they get stunned mid animation. Like, you really gotta watch the uh, aftershock timer. And normally that's not a big deal, but I'm I'm not like super comfortable with this guy's animation. So I I normally don't quake this guy. Like uh, in war, if if we quake him, I'm like you know in the three to four range in terms of like priority with Quake. Like, there's Bryn, Lyzer, um, Hinoch, and, uh, before last season, Rez was in, uh, BG3. And th they would all get, like, Quake priority, or, like, I, you know, they'd, they'd get the Quake fights before I did. I was kind of like a, a back off, or a, um, oops, a backup option. But, um, I never... I never quaked Korgs. That was always somebody else if if we used Quake for him. Anyway. So I'm like I'm like not not feeling good right now about his animations. I'm just keep getting thrown off a little bit. Baby. Oh, fuck. All right, now I'm fucked, so... I have to... Oh, whoo-hoo! Get fucked, buddy! All right, I thought when I pushed him over a bar of power, I thought this fight was over. He backed up, which I got really lucky, because if I was cornered and he had that SP1, there would have been no way. No chance. Ooh, we got a subscriber. Ooh, we got a donation, James. Thank you, man. Uh, after this fight, I'll, we'll give you your shine, buddy, get you on the taco board. Thank you so much. Uh, this fight is going a lot better than I expected. I was thinking like 25, 30%. I think, I think I've taken off like 50%. And it's actually going a lot faster than I, than I thought it would. I thought it would be like a nightmare fight with Quake, like super long. I don't know how long it's been, but probably like maybe five minutes, which isn't terrible. Ooh, my fingers, dog, they're getting wet. Wet and sweaty. Alright, we are getting there, guys. Almost got him to 25%. Let's see if we can get him under 20% for this run. Then I'll be happy with this run. I'll be more happy with this run. Which honestly should be automatic at this point unless I just, until I mess up. Because it's, like I told you, it's going to happen. I tend to do this. I'm going to screw something up here. It's always at the end of the fight, every time. Every time with Quake, it's like the longer the fight goes on, the more likely I am to just mess up. So, it's going to happen. All right, sweet. Done under 20%. Effed it all up there. Uh, 
Okay, what is this, like five more Aftershock cycles? And we should be able to do that. That's like less than 60 seconds. All right, I'm thinking three more cycles here. 30 seconds. If I can just keep this... <laughs> I told you! I fucking told you! All right. That's okay. Very happy with that. That's just what happens with me and Quake. Ooh, Quake. I know, dude. Uh, <laughs> I know. It's it's boring, but it's like, whatever. Uh, James, five bucks for my favorite potato-related streamer. I should hope so. Also, are there other potato-related streamers that I should know about? Uh, let's get you up there, man. Thank you so much, James. Appreciate it. Ooh, leading row two, bud. All right. Might have to consolidate. No, we're good. Look at that. Everybody fits perfectly in there. That is awesome. Um, okay. Spuds McCarnack. Is that a real person, Will, or are you just making stuff up? Uh, who are your top choices for Nexus? Oh, I forgot there was a Nexus. Uh, I will, I'll go over those choices a little bit later. I think, I think, um, Kamala Khan would be a top choice for me. She would, so for new, new six star champs, Kamala Khan, cause I'd like to have her for the Karina challenge. I could, you know, I'll probably just take her to rank two, leave her at that. But, um, Kamala Khan would be a good one. And, um... And Dragon Man. And then after those two, those those two would be brand new champs. She-Hulk would be good. I don't even know if she's in the basic or anything. I, I just can't remember. But, uh, so let's just say those three. Uh, She-Hulk, Kamala Khan, and, um, Dragon Man. And outside of those three, I think all of my other top choices would be uh, dupe, dupes or awakening champs like Professor X. Um, there's a whole long list of champs that I'd like to awaken. Doc Ock. Uh, we can go through that a little bit later. But um, I guess the new champs would be Dragon Man, She-Hulk if she's in there. Or um, Kamala Khan. Oh, we got to update the revives. Um, I can't remember if I did this previously, so let's just add two. Just and. You know, for fairness. Alright. This honestly should have been a solo. This should be a Quake solo, and it definitely should have been a two-shot. No reason I, I should have just blew it this last time. And I'm sure that because I said that, I'm going to die here, and it's going to require another revive. <laughs> that would just be too typical. Well, dude, throwing over ten? What? All right, man, uh, give me just a sec. And, I mean, thank you, dude. Crazy. All right, well, let's just throw a heavy. Nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> All right, Will, making it up, need attention too. All right. Uh, Daenerys, what's up? Dude, Will, thank you, man. My God, look at this wall. Look at this wall of Taco Meisters. We might we might have to consolidate a little bit. Or should we just go line three? Let's just go three lines. That looks way cooler. Ten dollars, dude. Two. Wow. All right. Oh, poor Cashew and Hobbits. All right. Let's see what we can fit on this second line here. Will, thank you, man, for real. All right, Cashew. Ugh, gosh, buddy. You know what? We know what that means. It's not the third line. You're on a line for yourself. That's how we sell that. That's how we sell that. And uh, you you deserve a, li deserve a line all by yourself. All right. Wow. What's next? Dragon Man. I, okay, this is going to be a good one. So I can use uh, Magneto for this fight. Who else? I could use Quake, maybe. Stun Immunity. 
I mean, we could turn off the power charge, aspect of evolution, power bonds. All right, let's try Quake here. Um, and I need him to expire his power charge, and then I need to start my aftershock. We're, I'm just going to try the war trick. We're just going to see if it works here. We will see. We will see. All right. All right, so the war chick means I'm not going to start charging my heavy until he's um, he's almost at an SP one. Then I need him to throw it, let him hit into my block. All right, and now he shouldn't get it back, but I can't look because I'm cornered. Okay, he got it back, so I'm fucked. But, all right, yeah, I mean, all right, I, so I mistimed it then. All right, he needs to throw, yeah, that's what happened. All right, he needs to throw his SP-1 right after I start charging my heavy, because then his power charge will return eight seconds later, and my aftershock will start 10 seconds later? Wait, no, it returns 12 seconds later. That's what, all right. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Should be okay. I just have to nail the timing on it. And if I can do that, then we'll shut off power charge for the rest of the fight, and then it's just whether or not I can stay alive with a stun immune defender. Which is, eh, unlikely. Magneto power boost 200%. Oh, God, that sounds terrible. All right, there, throw the power charge. All right, so what, look at my aftershock and his power charge, and they should overlap. Boom, it's shut off. All right, so now I just have to stay alive for this fight without the relief of being able to stun him. And since I'm cornered, if I get touched, I'm dead. So we'll see how long I can do. Jesus, dude. Back off for a second. Like, give me some rest. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up real soon. My eyes are, like, starting to fucking get cross and shit. <laughs> For great Quakers, this would be an automatic solo at this point. But there's no way. Like, I think I'm already due to mess this up. I'm, I'm due for one here in the next 60 seconds. I bet I'm going to fuck this up. All right, there we go. I can feel it because, like, my eyes are, like, not exactly following the timing of the animations. I'm just like, the fuck is happening? <sighs> and his animations cover, like, the entire screen. So, all right. Oh, you, you don't design fights tipped? Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you do. I, I see you in the CCP server, but I just... I don't, 
I don't really pay much attention to the CCP server, so. <laughs> uh, all right. Will I be opening the rewards after this, or will it be a separate video? I'll definitely be opening the rewards, Caesar. but we've been going for three hours, and I don't know how much is left, so it might be another two hours or something ridiculous. Uh, oh, I designed systems, incursions, solo objectives. Um, and currently working on relics. Sometimes I um, step in on other stuff like the most recent arenas. Nice, dude. Well, I think you've done an amazing job with incursions. Um, it's not a game mode that I play just because of how time intensive it time intensive it is. But um, I think that currently it's probably the best designs or the most engaging game mode, which is good. Obviously, it's very good. <laughs> oh no, relics. Yeah, let you know. Let let Tip do his thing. Okay, should we go with Magneto here? Um, and just I don't know. Get to an SP three, I guess. All right, let's let's try that. We'll, here, let's see what the next fights are because if I'm using Magneto. Oh, this is probably an apocalypse fight, right? Oh, Footloose. Arc Overload. I, I guess that could be a Quake fight. Uh, I don't know. That's going to be Apocalypse, 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 then Magneto there. All right, I think we can probably get to that fight before 200% wears off. So... Uh, all right, let's let's try Magneto with 200% boost. I hate using those not in war because I use Apocalypse in war so often. But I guess I do have another six or seven weeks or whatever of of war, uh, not being not doing war. So all right, 20 revives, looking good. It's not as flashy as uh, Karate Mike or whatever, but uh, that's okay. Hmm, I feel like I should just leave him at 50% in case in case I screw this up. That's probably probably what I should do. Um <clears throat> all right. Man, 200%. They do have those 200% in the store, right? Somebody said that earlier. And yeah, I'm not going to use the other shit. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Hey -o. I had a baby. That was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I should go back to Quake, man. I just feel more comfortable with Quake. What what am I supposed to do with with Magneto here? Just, just not suck, I guess, is the probably the thing. Plus I'm boosted a little bit. So I'm just wasting the re re these revives, I think. All right, let's just use a bunch of these guys. There. All right, let's try this one more time with Magneto. I know that this fight is so low, but I've seen it, but I, you know. All right, now I might be in trouble, actually. Oh, baby. Oh, I did shut off his uh, power charge. That's good. I just 
need to be able to build. Ah. Uh, all right. I don't know, man. I had like maybe 10 prowess. Yeah, enough. I mean, just enough. Probably didn't even have 10 prowess. I guess I just died from incinerate or something. I don't know. I'm doing quake because. Uh, Taters is the one Mick October that doesn't give flying fucks. That's that's true. What's Mick o Oh, MCOC tuber. Jesus Christ. Mick October. What an idiot. Uh, Alright, Quake it is. Let's update the revive counter. We're almost to our limit here. 25. <laughs> 25. I haven't spent any units yet, which is which is good. Silver lining. Uh, all right. All right, there we go, baby. All right. Let's see if I can finish this off. All right, ooh, baby, back. AA for Mojo, all right, perfect. Uh, how long has he been in Gauntlet? I can't seem to find a timestamp on the live stream. Like, a lot of time. All right, I really don't want to. I shouldn't be quaking this guy, right? This is this should be an apocalypse fight. Nice, Will. Uh, quake just takes a lot of practice, man. All right, let's let's uh let's go in with Quake probably. Dude, Amir, how you doing, buddy? Was uh was hoping for one more death there. I'm sure you were. Should we do Apocalypse here? Um, MSD, you used Apocalypse here, right? Or did you use Professor X? All I know. I guess I go in with Quake, just uh, for the time being. <clears throat> oh my god, 
that aftershock cycle took off one percent. All right, there I screwed it up anyway. So soloed with APOC. All right, perfect. That's what I wanted to know. We will do. Uh, we'll do apocalypse. Miss you, bud. Hope you're enjoying your time off the AW grind. Yes, sir. It's been good, man. All right, apocalypse. Oh boy, healing this guy up is gonna hurt. All right, that's good enough. Let's update the revive counter. It's an ugly counter right there. All right. All right, let's read the notes again because I, I do need to know this. Uh, Footloose, you won't be able to evade me. Arc Overload, Armor Assault. All right, so I do. I just need to watch out for the passive unblockable, I think. And then obviously Footloose, I just need to be careful of the unstoppable. But uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get screwed. Benito, yes, I got absolutely ravaged by him. Oh, good. He start. All right, perfect. So that was a. It's a great start. All right. All right. There we go. I just wasted all those fucking potions, dude. I didn't get a, look at that, zero to nine. Okay. I think we'll uh, leave Apocalypse just at 20% health. Wow. Who did you use on him? A combination of Quake and Apocalypse. You can, if you want to, you can go back and watch it. It was an absolute, complete nightmare. Oh, Woo! I forgot about Footloose. Damn it, dude. I keep... Uh, uh, yeah. AA can also work, you think? Has that been... Has that been tested? Potty mouth? Oh, dude. Absolutely. <laughs> Amazing start, bro. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's try Archangel, man, because why not? You haven't laughed this, uh, this hard in a long time? I'm so happy to hear that, man. Alright, let's just see how this goes. Probably not well. Alright, little bitch, let's go. Let's see what you got. All right, very good. What What is going on? Can somebody fucking, I need to watch a solo with Apocalypse. Is that, what, why do I, why am I not doing this? I could also just use Quick. I mean, I don't know. AA works well, huh? I don't think Taters will be much of a cat person after this. No, I've never been a cat person to begin with. Uh, I, like, who am I going to sacrifice to this guy? Yeah. I guess Apocalypse... Archangel does seem like if I can get lucky with the neurotoxins and prevent Footloose in his armors. Uh, Quake? Let's try Quake again. We're boosted. She just takes a little baby revive. Alright. Awesome. He's got your ass. Yes, he does. Problem with Quake is it'll take like a hundred aftershock cycles. Hmm. 
Not sure if that's not sure if that's good. You know who'd actually be awesome for this fight? Unless I'm missing something? God, what a loser. Uh, Shang-Chi, dude. Uh, I'm like moderately boosted. Not much. I'm not wasting big boosts on this shit. Like I'll just use units, it's it's fine. If I if I have to, like and I'm gonna have to. But that's that's why I've done I've been doing arena lately. Um, so that I could use units on content like this. And it's timed content, so you know, the uh, Karina challenges and stuff, I, I'll just kind of sit back and wait a little bit. But since this is timed, uh, I'm happy to use units if I need to, which I will need to, of course. Wow, this is going to be a long one if I survive. At least I'm making progress though, you know, that's that's an important part. I'm sure Kabam loves it that people just like they get completely ripped up and they're like just I'll just do Quake. It's fine. I'll just let me just use Quake. <laughs> Like all that time that goes into planning how nodes interact with champs and and stuff. It's just like, yeah, I'll just quake it. It's fine. I'll just quake it. I know that that pisses them off, but... I can't wait to get to Thanos though. Like I, it he that's such a fun fight. At least um, historically, like the nameless Thanos, such a fun fight. And I'm sure I'm gonna get completely crushed too. But it's <laughs> at least it'll be fun. Like Spider Ham was that was not fun. One more heavy mistake too and I'm I'm dead, so Hope you guys like this. <laughs> Dude, Maddox. Dude, Shang-Chi would be crazy awesome for this. I wanted to bring him in, dude. 
but I don't know. I don't know what other fights he'd be good for. Like, I don't know what the nodes are on um, Spider Gwen. I can't remember what the nodes are. Oh, he could have definitely done Thing. So I could have used him for this fight. I could have done Thing with him. And again, maybe maybe Spider Gwen. I don't really know. I, I don't know if she has something that would prevent him from being an option. But oh my God, he's just unbelievable, dude. What are some of the other fights? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't remember the other fights that I've. I can't really remember the fights that I've taken yet. Doom, he couldn't. He couldn't be used for. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like he could do several of the fights in here. Oops. Um, but yeah. Guys, can I ask what are your thoughts on Mephisto? Are you just asking the chat? Um, I like Mephisto. I think he's really underrated as a champ. Um, he's similar to, uh, welcome. Thanks for subscribing, Chris. Um, he's similar to Dor Dormammu in that he's like a really, really well-built champ. He just doesn't have great damage. That's kind of the only knock on him. His damage is certainly better than Dormammu's. Dormammu it really is kind of a parry-heavy type of champ. But, uh, yeah, Mephisto's pretty good, man. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. Gosh. I think I should just go Quake again. I know, it's, I know it sucks to watch, but... Like, I'm not trying to, like, just burn units, you know? All right, we're at 25 revives. At some point, I'm going to stop because I don't want to humiliate myself. Would you R2 unduped Archangel? I would. Yeah, um, you're still getting awesome damage. You're just not getting the ability accuracy reduction. So... Um, that's really the only that's really the only thing. But um but yeah, I mean he's he's really good. He doesn't need to be awakened per se, that's just for that's just for the ability accuracy reduction. His damage is still absolutely insane. So yeah, I would definitely I would probably not rank three him unawakened. I would Wait until I could use a gym on him, or uh, obviously if you dupe him, then he'd be an automatic rank three for me. But uh, rank two, I would definitely do unduped. I guess it also depends on if you have a 565 at, at you know that's awakened, because if you do, it might be a little redundant depending on where you're at in the game, you know, with progression. So, I don't really know, man. It's totally up to you. But if you don't have a five-star Archangel, then I would do it. Automatically. Or if you don't have a five-star Archangel that's ranked up. Or if your five-star Archangel is unawakened, then I would rank up to six-star. Oh, I remember uh, like an hour ago... Hinoch asked me if there what uh, what champs I would like to get out of the Nexus Crystal at the end of this, and I said that there were only three champs that I didn't have that I would like to pull for the first time. Kamala Khan. I'm trying to focus on this fight and think, um, so that's really dangerous for me. But um, Kamala Khan, She Hulk, Dragon Man. And then I said that the rest were dupes. Well, a fourth one is Archangel. If I could pull him, that would be awesome. Oof. I just, all right, I got I to gotta focus now. Stop talking.
Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to make Archangel a horseman <laughs> before the Nightcrawler fight. Whoops. That was a mistake. I won't be able to... I think that that's the next fight. I won't be able to make him a horseman. Um, and get two genetic code from Apocalypse. No, but... I, I guess it's not really a huge deal. All right, one more cycle. All right, I got it. You can do it now? Ugh. Dude, I could have quit that fight and done it. You're right, I think that that's what you mean. But I didn't do that. All right, let me make sure that I don't mess up here. It's it's fine. Like it's not a big deal. I'll use Apocalypse for Domino too. I think. I'll we'll have to look at the nodes, but uh check Cry Mike's vid. Uh for his I don't know if you're talking to me. Uh... Ooh, Buddy Lee, you got uh Kamala for from your gauntlet gauntlet uh, Nexus. Nice dude. Yeah, I'd love to pull her. Um, okay, let's see, what does this have? Enhanced abilities, best defense, force of will. All right, won't have to worry about that with Apocalypse. So it's just a, just a regular ass fight. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a Archangel a horseman and then he'll just die. And then I'll just go back in with Apocalypse to gain two genetic code and... Is that how that works? Yeah. And then, um... Alright, so I just cost myself a revive by being an idiot. Which, you know... Not, not too bad. Um, alright, so I do have to revive both of these guys. Let's see if I have any team revives. I don't think I do. I don't. Ooh, I have team health potions. Nice, dude. All right. Um, let's revive him. And then we'll revive Archangel. Make him a horseman. Let's update this. I'm st I'm gonna stop counting at thirty five. I don't know. I guess I should just show myself. Like this is me. I'm the twenty seven revive guy. Hey. All right. Let's make. This fight a horseman, throw an archangel, and then, uh, yeah. Does this guy have any kind of heavy thing? Force of will? Okay, uh, not, a, not a big deal. Oh, baby. I wonder if archangel can actually do this fight. Probably, right? Just get the damage. I mean, it won't be fast. Prob I'm probably gonna end up dying for block damage, actually. All oh yeah, I'm just getting wrecked on block damage. He's he's doing decent damage, but I didn't heal him up, so that's that's my fault. That's a bummer, man, because if I healed him up, I'm pretty sure this would be a pretty easy solo. But I guess I want to get two genetic code from uh, for, for Apocalypse anyway, so it's fine. I can't wait to go back and read some of the comments. <laughs> um, 
the conversation about the um, the relics. I'm I'm sad that I'm missing that. All right, I'm here, buddy. Thank you, dude. Let's get you up there, Amir. It's all right, baby. We enjoy your frustration. Here's a three forty percent revives to make up for the ones you wasted. <laughs> da, nice, nice. All right, let's get Hobby down there with Cashew. Let's get Amir up in there. Yeah, buddy, Amir. I hope James is uh, not offended here, but James, Amir's just gonna sneak right in front of you, buddy. Here we go. Uh, have I used Apocalypse yet? For this uh, for this fight, I haven't, but I have used him in this quest. So he's got 100% evade immunity or whatever. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, I mean, this fight should be... It should be easy. It should be easy with Apocalypse. But you know you know, I'm going to screw it up. That's just what, I, just what happens. So uh, he won't be able to evade, which is awesome. And I should just be able to do a regular Apocalypse fight here. Just build up my debuffs, lock them in with the SP3. And, uh, yeah. I'll have to land a few heavies. Which, again, you know, not a big deal. Ooh. Oh, my God. I just tried to, uh... I just tried to, uh block break him with a heavy or stun him through the block that was uh not smart oh no all right all right fuck that i'm now offending everyone then amir you just bought me a bunch more revive buddy oh no oh no b daniels buddy you're getting downgraded yikes all right, Amir, look at all this, look at all this adjusting we're doing here for Amir. For Amir because he's so generous. Unbelievable. Amir. Wow, dude, you just hopped right to the front of the line. Amir with a monstrous taco today. I've got a double, that's unsightly. Let's get that out of here. All right, looks pretty good. Who has the longest dash back? That's a good question. I, I would be curious to know. Uh, all right, let's go back in with Apocalypse and uh, let's finish this easy fight off. Easy fight. Could also use Quake. Is that my last revive? Oh boy, we are in for it. Hmm. <clears throat> Um, maybe we should heal him up a little bit. Let's use these little bitty ass guys. There. Get them boys out of my face. That last one was totally, I just, I was just an idiot. I just tried to, tried to punish his SP1, didn't have the spacing. So, uh, should be easy just not to do that, you know? I do have four genetic code, which is good, so I can block break him anytime, which is good. That'll help me reset all the debuffs that I've got on it. Yeah, alright, this will be an easy sell or, or whatever. I'll, I'll be able to finish him off pretty easily. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, all right, so I didn't get the concussion because of force of will. I thought that it would still apply, at least, uh, to give me that burst damage, but no. Nope. I guess it did say ability reducing debuffs he had a full immunity to, so that makes sense.
Okay. Cashew, you really do need an apocalypse, man. He's just so good, man. I, he might, like, he's one of the best champs in the game without question. I wonder if I could kill him with one SP1 from this point. Probably? Oh yeah, easily. Good night, buddy. Good night. DTM, what's up? Are, is that like the four Loki DTM? Yusuf, what's going on, man? How you doing? Thanks for popping in. How many fights do we have left? Oh my god, we got a lot of fights left. One, two, three, four, five. We've got nine fights left. Oh my god. Uh, APOC for Spider Gwen, too. That's yeah, kind of what I figured. Window of Opportunity Stun, one eye open. Nice. Alright. Alright, we we should be okay here. I think I'm gonna get to Oh my gosh. Okay, I forgot I couldn't be that I can't be stun reflected by that, but that was almost a disaster right to start. Which I mean You guys expect nothing less, right? Alright, let's get some debuffs on her. I don't think I can punish this SP2 with the heavy. I can't. It's good to know. Where's the stun timer thing? Oh no. Alright, I just saved myself by throwing that as one, well, but I lost my clips. Damn it, dude. The SP1 space. Alright, so I can't punish the SP1, I can't punish a heavy. I mean, I could Quaker. Oh no, I can't Quaker because of uh, when I open. Alright. Oh my god, I just use units. Fuck, dude, that's that's bad. I've got to have more revives in there. I had more than whatever I just used, I think. Hold on, let me, let's me let go see if I've got any revives left. Otherwise, this is going to be so expensive. I might end up using all my units. That would be embarrassing. Let's see. No more revives left. Yikes. That's not good. Whiff light attacks after the SP1. Yeah, I could I could do that. Do I will I have enough time? I wonder if I'll have enough time um to whiff a light and then throw a heavy before she fully recovers. I don't know. I might just I might just go SP3. I don't know, man. I, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Alright, I see the window of opportunity stun timer up there. Alright, just gonna... Alright, let's see if we can get this, this timing. But... I just want to see if I can get the spacing on the light whiff. No. I don't think I can do the light whiff. Like, I just don't think I have enough time. Alright, let's get this degen on her at least. Oh, 
All right, sweet. All right, so I just think I have to delay. She's gonna have to throw this SP2. I need to get to an SP3 here. Not, not great. I think I just gotta go SP3 the whole way, you know? Not worry about the debuffs, I guess. I'm sure that I'm better, you know, better players are gonna are gonna play this fight a lot better. Um, but whatever. Dude, AJ, what? All right, give me a second, buddy. We'll get you up on the taco board. That taco board is looking thick today, man. You guys are amazing. Are you using Mole Man? I'm not, Karate Mike. Hey, you know what? Mole Man would be another of those champs that I don't have as a six star that I would love out of that Nexus. So here's the hoping. We can get a Mole Man, an Archangel, a She-Hulk, all champs that Karate Mike has at rank 3, mind you. And uh, who are the other ones? Oh, Kamala Khan. Oh, and Dragon Man. Oh. What am I doing? Alright. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Um... Also, welcome, Mike. Good to see you, bud. Kung Fu Michael. All right, it's got seven revives left. Oh my God! And then we're then we're into the units, man. All right, let's use these little weenie ones. Gosh. Oh man. All right. There's no way I can't finish this fight off with this. I, I'm up to 30 revives too, which is just, honestly, it's just embarrassing. And I realize that I say, honestly, it's just embarrassing every time I stream. So, that's just, that's just my flavor, you know? I think I'm just gonna recycle the SP1. I'll get the burst damage on my uh, on my debuffs. I waited for them to expire so I could reapply them, but I, I think I could have snuck in at the last minute there to, to get the you know both. Both effects. Uh, yeah, this is probably just the easy way to play this fight. I should have just done this from the beginning. Man. Should have, would have, could have, man. Right. Yeah, I can stun, but I, there's one eye open, too. So, anyway. AA incoming? That'd be cool, man. I'd be very happy with that. All right, let's see the, what the nodes are for Domino. Limber, yikes. That's not fun. Force of Will, Debilitate. Matador and Power Shield? Oh, baby. All right, we're using Apocalypse, for sure. All right, let's just read through these again. We got Limber, not a big deal. Force of Will... Not a huge deal. Debilitate. That's just debuff effects. So that's just like bleed. Um, thanks for seven, Ray. Matador, power shields. So I think I'm just going to get wrecked on, uh, on the crit failure damage. But other than that, man, I think that this fight should be okay.
I don't have to worry about her, uh... Her evading, which is cool. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to apply concussion. Oh man, I'm getting crit failed hardcore. Oh no, dude, look at all that crit failure damage. Oh, fuck. Why, what is happening, dude? What is she failing? What are you failing? Damn, bro, we got a little subscriber train. Thank you, guys. What, what, what do I give myself when I throw my SP2? What is she failing right now? What are you failing, ma'am? Excuse me, ma'am? Holy shit, dude, Apocalypse is fucking nutty! My god, oh, dude, AJ, I'm sorry, bro, I got distracted. Let's get you up there, bro. All right, one second, man. Dude, hell yeah. Thank you, AJ. All right, just checking the uh, the USD conversion. We're bump we got a bump down executioner, man. Executioner, I appreciate the generosity, of course. You gotta get bumped though, broski. Just how it go. And Sweeta, you're getting bumped a little bit too. Happy birthday, boy. All right, we're going. We're going. AJ, you're you cool with that, AJ? If we just kind of abbreviate your your situation. All right, that's looking sick. That's looking sick. Uh, all right. Mm. Oh, is that a solo? I thought I I figured I'd die. I I thought I died before that. I'm at thirty rebuds too, but oh, I guess it was a solo. I don't know what I was losing all my crit failure damage to though. That that was so dumb. You failed to apply the debuffs? I don't think so. Did I? I don't know. I guess I wasn't paying that much attention, but uh, I don't know, man. I was. Oh, is it because of force of will? That's stupid, dude. That's so stupid. If it doesn't. All right. Maybe that's probably was it, but I don't know, man. That's stupid. So dumb. All right. Here we go. This is an archangel fight. So we're going to revive again. God. Um. All right, I wonder if I should just revive. Hold on, let me just do a scout real quick of my champs. All right, next fight is probably Quake, right? Oh, shit, yeah, all right, so it's probably Quake. And then I am going to use Magneto over here, and then I've got Namor that I can use for that Killmonger. Okay, so everybody basically needs to get revived here. And then I'll use a team uh, potion. So I just used three revives. Jesus. All right, team potion. Dude, look at Apocalypse, dude. Just like not getting revived. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm. I'm way more, way more expensive than that. Uh, thank you, sir. Nope. Aqua. 
Williams. I guess I don't need to revive him right now. I don't even know if I'll be using him again. I, I could use him for like Fury or something, but all right. Ian gets melted by AA, does he really? Okay. All right, sweet. Uh, okay. Archangel, Horseman Archangel, not that it matters. Let's just, let's see if we can get a solo on this one. Probably not. I see, I, I see that I'm already getting very lucky with his prompts, which is excellent. Block a hit, okay. We are doing awful, awfully good damage here, though. That's good. I, I had to. I threw that. That was. Oh my god. All right. Now I'm just like spazzing out hardcore. That SP1 was just a complete desperation SP1 because I missed the, the spacing. Shit damage, dude. What a freaking idiot, man. I'm so disappointed in myself. I thought that this was gonna be one of the easier solos, to be honest. Very disappointing. Don't push him to SP2. I think I gotta let this fall off, just hope he throws his SP1. Is that a good idea? Should I just be pushing him to his SP2? Probably. Ay. Oh, yikes. Alright, I guess I should have just been pushing him to his SP2. Alright, fuck me, dude. Did you use Quake for Dragon Man? Yes, I did. It took me a couple revives, and I think I tried Magneto twice, and I just screwed the fight up, so... You know... Wasn't very clean, but I don't know, man. That's who I used, though. I used Quake. She did like 90% of the damage. Let's just use all of these potions up. Force close? Nah. I mean, I, I haven't. I haven't yet. Honestly, I, I, I should probably try to utilize that, but I don't know, dude. I, it's it's fine. Like I'm not trying to squeeze extra. I maybe I should. I don't know, man. I haven't done it yet. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Gosh damn it, bro. Oh no. This dude's just getting crazy power. Dude, am I gonna I'm gonna lose this fight too, man. any neuros right now. No, dude. No. I guess I could use Quake here, but we're almost there, man. Let's use all of these. <laughs> I 
Oh, the, the prompts do get completed automatically. That's true. There's a node, right? All right. Does, it, does Archangel shut that off, though? Or does this have Force of Will? I, I don't know. The last couple fights with Force of Will have kind of thrown me off. Oh, this fight seems to be going very well. I'm getting, like, super lucky with... <laughs> it's just... That's so silly. Hey, Joke, what's up, man? I just I just caught your comment. That makes sense now, I guess. That Yeah, somebody else mentioned that, crit failing the concussion. Even though the node turns it off, she shouldn't get credit for that because she didn't fail it, but whatever. All right, we're going to use Archangel for this fight too because somebody said that this is uh, really, really good. Um, he's really, really good for this fight, which I guess makes sense. I just thought that I'd get bled. Oh, he's a horseman. That's why it makes sense. All right. Hello, buddy. None of those were a parry? What? Oh, I got fucked with the poison, too. All right. <laughs> Please use AA. All right. I know nobody wants to watch Quake anymore. Which is, I fully understand. I think I'd have to, I don't think Quake can do this fight anyway, can she? With the disorient thing? Alright, let's go get some more potions. I think I've got some more. Yikes, dude. What? Alright. Yeah, we're, we're almost out of potions, too. It's gonna be an expensive finish, but YOLO, man. This is why you get units, I guess, if you're... We got six fights left plus uh, plus Apocalypse, so... Or, uh, I mean, Thanos. We, we're gonna be fine. We're gonna, we're gonna end up spending a lot of units, but that's okay, man. Not, I'm not using them for anything anyway. I do think that I got unlucky on that one. That, that was, that was bizarre. He applied a poison. See, look at that too. Two hits and I get poisons. That's uh, that's just bullshit, dude. Frankly, like I'm gonna fucking die. All right, we're forced. We're forced closing this one, man. <sighs> fucking so stupid, dude. Unbelievable. The first first three, I get poisoned twice. First three contact with them. What? That makes no sense. Uh, well, yes, I do. I'd like to continue this fight. Uh, game cut out on me. <laughs> Look at that, dude. First fucking... What? Alright, now I'm just getting... Dude, fuck. Fuck. Bullshit. Dude, four hours and we're still going. We got another two hours, probably. Uh, Tipped is, <laughs> is still in here, too. So he's just like, uh, yikes. This guy is having a freak out. I mean, that's two fights in a row, though, where I just get poisoned, like, nine times in the first five seconds of the fight. That does not make any sense, dude. Unless, what am I missing here? Alright, that doesn't matter. Crippling failure, what's this? Okay, I mean, that, that'll just prevent, like, heal block, or, uh, willpower healing. Not a big deal. Under pressure, I, I did, I did get a disorient debuff on me, but come on, man. God damn it, dude. Now I'm in the fucking units. Oh my god, dude, this is gonna be so expensive. <sighs> Quake him? I don't know if I don't know if I can with the nodes, man. Alright, let's see how many poisons I get on me. He's got three neurotoxins, so he should not be poisoning me at all. Uh, 
I wouldn't. I, I honestly wouldn't mind. All right, I definitely can't get. Let him get to an SB2. That's not gonna. That can't be an option. God damn it, dude. God damn it. Well, now I'm kind of fucked if he doesn't throw his SB1 here. Okay, let's read the node because I don't think that I can use Quake here. And here's the reason. It's uh, under pressure. When the attacker dashes back, they gain a disorient timer for 1.2 seconds. Dashing back again while the disorient timer is active inflicts a disorient debuff, lowering defensive ability, accuracy, and block proficiency by 50%. So, basically, if I tried to do him deck style, uh, my evade would be 50% less effective. Frustration is better than not feeling anything at all. I I suppose it. Well, I mean, yeah. It's it's better than. Uh, <laughs> you can use her. You'll heal a lot. Okay. I isn't. All right, got it. Let's let's just do. It. Under pressure doesn't affect Quake. I thought that her. Uh, her concussion was, or her evade was defensive ability accuracy. All right, well let's let's do it. Quake heals in the fight. Well, I'm glad that I healed her up to full, like a complete idiot. I really should boost though, because he's got a lot of health. That was on accident. Dude, AJ, coming in with some more. Some more tacos, baby! How did I not put that together? I'm ashamed of myself. Disorient activates willpower. Uh, read my last message, it will help you. Um, I'm in the middle of a quake fight. I will try to catch it here when he's stunned. Whoops. All right, I don't think I'm gonna be able to for until this fight's over, unfortunately. But uh, this seems to be working very well. I just totally overlooked it. Let's see, Grenfeld. Yeah, I'm not. I don't. I'm not gonna be able to find you in the middle of an aftershock stun. So hot in this in this room.
My hands are so sweaty too. It's crazy. I'm gonna have to wash them. Alright, like two more cycles, I'm thinking. Oh no, dude. Alright, now I'm, I'm definitely fucked here. Fuck. Uh, feeling a great sense of accomplishment it has to be close to feeling frustration. If the stakes aren't high, there's not much left. 100%, dude. 100%. I am, uh, well, I mean, you guys have probably watched my streams in the past. I definitely, I'm definitely a passionate person. So, <laughs> uh, to say the least. All right. Um, all right, let's finish up with Quake. Oh, God, that is so painful. And we're at, like, what, 37 revives? At what point do I stop, dude? Do I have the record right now? Most revives used on a uh, by a YouTuber. Not a distinction that I that I want, really. But <laughs> how's the quaking going? I mean, dude, I try to use other champs, and then it's just like quake is just the path of least resistance, man. So I should have been able to finish him, finish this guy. This is a very soloable fight with quake. Uh, Black Panther is a fight that I died to multiple times, uh, with other champs, and she should, he should be soloed by Quake. Doctor Doom could be soloed by Quake. Um, I, I can't remember the other fights, but, like, she's, like, a really good fallback option. Oh, Korg? I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I didn't want to, I didn't want to use Quake either, honestly. But I don't have infinite units, and I don't have infinite resources. So, it, it is what it is. Maybe buy team revives? That's probably smarter, but then I'd have to... I'd have to throw away my entire team. On a fight that doesn't make sense for anybody else, you know what I mean? So, uh, at this point, maybe we do revives. Alright, this fight's gonna... I'm sure it's gonna suck. I know a lot of people use Magneto here. I've already wasted two mutant boosts, <sighs> which is fun. All right. All right, so I just need to get to an SP3. I just need to get to SB3s here. I'm sure boost would help. I'll, I'll throw on some normal boost, but... God, I don't want to spend any more of these boosts, honestly, dude. Let's do a 10%. I don't know. All right, yellow. Boost up. Yeah, yeah, I know. Wow, dude. God, I just am... I'm just bad, dude. Alright. I did not think I was going to land that. Ah. Yeah. Damn it, dude. I shouldn't have tried. I should have just blocked that, dude. Ah.
Use L1, then L3, then L2. What? L1, all right, so L1 would give him bleed immunity. L2 would give him armor break. Hmm. <laughs> Hobby, you know, Taters, I feel like we sound kind of similarly when we stream. I feel like I say a lot of the same things you do. I know, dude. I... <laughs> Uh, I think you're more composed than I am. And uh, this is about to get really nasty. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. That was so dumb, dude. I should have just blocked it. I'm supposed to heal this guy up to full too. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. I just want to see what an SP3, what the damage is going to be. If I can, if I can build up prowess. God, dude. I, I wonder, I should have brought Doom, probably, right? Oh, no. Dude, this fight is already over, bro. Oh no, bro, no! All right, we got a little bit of damage out of him. Fuck! Summer of Pain is coming, indeed it is. Just imagine like how painful it is to most good players and then like how painful it's gonna be for me. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I don't wanna be spending money on this game for a while. If, if any more, like, I don't know where I'm at right now with it. Obviously, I, I'm, I took a break from 4 Loki for a reason, so. Uh. Oh, Enzo's streaming, too. He should be streaming, yeah. If you guys want to go check out uh, a very happy person <laughs> that is not going to start complaining a lot here, then uh, Enzo, Enzo should be streaming. It is the last pass, so there is... The end is in sight... That's good. We're almost there. Ooh, James. Uh, all right, one second, James. I just want to see if I can just if I can just survive to a fucking SP three here. All right, we gotta block all of this shit. Oh, Jesus. I mean, that perfect block is definitely awesome. Be nice if he'd throw a fucking heavy. You know how he's he's always like one hit into your block and then heavy? But like right now he's like, no, I just want to throw, I just want to stun you. Like, okay. Alright, we're going. Boom, let's just see what this does. Please don't push into an SP3. I think it's gonna. Enzo! Enzo, you just started, right? Please don't push into an SP3. Fuck me, dude. That is. Alright, James. Build prowess with your back to the wall and counter heavies from there. Uh, James, we are updating your taco. Then I'm washing my hands. And then we will be back. And uh, here, we're going we're gonna to adjust this. We're just going to say between 30 and 60. And we're, we're not going to count anymore because it's making me feel really embarrassed. There we go. 30 to 60. Fuck you. <laughs> Uh, all right.
All right, I will be right back, guys. I need to wash these hands. These hands are just a swampy mess. I will be back. Uh, and then we're going to finish this thing off. We should be done here in the next 45 minutes. All right. Knocked my knee sitting down. Enzo! Dude, Enzo, just being generous. Enzo. Dude, thank you so much. One second, Enzo. Sorry, man. Dude, yes, Enzo. Thank you, dude. All right, let's get Enzo up there. Um, oh, no, the birthday boy is going to get... I, all right, here, we can abbreviate his name. Everybody knows who he is. All right, if we do Swede... I think we all know. All right, Enzo. Thank you, man. I miss you, Enzo. I miss all of BG3 so much. Um, just being in that chat with you guys, it's a good time. All right. Uh, all right, so we are going to go in the corner, and we are just going to dodge heavy attacks and counter with our own heavies. That's the strategy here. Eh, fucking YOLO, man. All right, if I finish with, even if I only have 2,000 units left after this, which honestly might be a little optimistic, it's going to be okay. Enzo did also raid me, I know. I Oh, he raided me? What? I thought, uh, oh, he did. He must have done an early stream today. I thought you just started, Enzo. <laughs> I was trying to send people over to your stream, man. Uh, Iron Patriot, what's up, man? You're going to love this stream, Iron Patriot, because I know that you love it when I, when I embarrass myself. You love to rub it in, and you're going to have so much opportunity for that. All right, we're just going to back ourselves into a corner, see if we can, see if we can, <clears throat> see if we can just build prowess this way. I got lucky there that he didn't stun me. It's just a 30% chance, but. Dude, we got Pooba coming, getting in on the taco train. Hell yeah, Pooba. Ah! All right, I just ate that heavy. This is not going well, dude. Uh, I think this run, in fairness, is going a little bit better than some of the other runs. So, uh, what was it, James? Oh, no, dude. All right, we're just throwing the SB3. It's only eight prowess. This is not going to do anything. Need that full wall dex? Yeah, with the SP1, that's not going to happen, buddy. I did kind of a, a, a full wall dex on the SP2. It wasn't like technically wall. I just got locked in right there on the... Uh... Yeah, anyway. 
Um, anyway, yeah, the full wall deck stuff, MSD, that's, that's something that, there's, it's you. That's, it's literally you. You're the guy that can do that shit. Nobody else can do that shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to go full decks on this. Alright, and I missed it, so. It's just, it's a lot of thumb swipes in a short amount of time. Soon, Dap will upload a six-hour DDIU, and, and it's it would be the easiest upload of his life. All he would have to do is just copy and paste this stream. Slayer, what's going on, man? What's good? Not me. I mean, in general, I'm I'm feeling good, but uh, I am doing what I do best. I am embarrassing myself on stream for everybody to see. I am eating away this unit stash that I had. I had like 40 revives when I started this and I was like, oh yeah, Mike, well, I don't know, I can't remember the numbers, but Mike did his in like 25 revives. He had like, you know, he's got like really good champs for it. Um, I don't know what lags used. Brian, I think was like 25-ish or under 30, right? Wasn't he? Anyway, I am, uh, my revive count is, is a mystery at this point. I will never tell, it's a secret. Next time the SP3 would deal a lot more damage because he is bleed immune. That's true, Grenfeld. Um, and I keep messing up the... Um, look at this. Let's just add a little, what, 2% health here. And then let's top us off with units, baby. That's what they're for, just to get spent. Once you get by APOC, it should be smooth sailing. It should be a lot easier after this. Hopefully. I mean, fuck. Yeah, but you've been watching the stream, MSD. You know you know what I'm going to do to myself. I'm just going to continually screw myself. And continue to embarrass myself. Because that's, that's kind of what I... That's my thing. Oh, man. Bro. Right, he's gonna have to throw this shit, dude. Yeah, alright, I just <laughs> fucking totally ruined that, dude. Uh, BG lose a lot of team revives. Counts as five. Ooh, okay. Well, that's good, I guess. I don't know. It's not, it's not a competition, and I know where I stand uh, in terms of skill. Skill is not the reason. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's, you know, skill is not my, my top skill, or my, my top asset. That's not what I bring to the table. I'm more of a, a planning person, specifically for war, because with quests, frankly, I don't want to put a lot of thought and time into it, so I don't... You know, always plan the best, but, um, 17, Mike? Dude, nice. That is awesome. Uh, hey, Taters, um, have you heard there's going to be a Hit Monkey or TV show? Hit Monkey? Uh, what? There's going to be a Hit Monkey TV show? That would be awesome. Uh, Schlerum, I know that MSD did it without revives. I watched it. I watched it and I gave it a thumbs down. I'm just kidding. I didn't. I gave it a thumbs up. But uh, yeah, if I start comparing myself to MSD in terms of skill, then, you know, I'm going to feel like shit. So I'm not going to do that. The truth is, if I wanted to, I could do this in 17 revives like Karate Mike. But I don't because that's already been done on a live stream by Karate Mike. I'm trying to give you guys a unique experience. Some loud, uh, yelling idiot that sucks at MCOC and that gets way too frustrated with this shit and always underestimates the expense of a quest and always underestimates how much time it's going to take him to, to finish a quest. That's me. That's my stick. Nobody can take that away from me. Not even Karate Mike. Not even MSD. So... 
Uh, dude, mega farts, I know, man. Uh, yeah, I'm going to end up spending 2K units for sure. All right, let's go back in and continue to get wrecked. I mean, bro! I know that was my fault, but I tried to dex out of that second, that first light attack, and it just didn't work. My thumb stuck. Hey, throw your heavy, bub. There you go. All right, let's take this big boy on the block. Nice. I just need to get to a fucking SP3. If I can just get to an SP3, then, uh, yeah, then we'll be in a lot better shape. All right, please perfect block some of this. Uh, that's not bad, I guess. All right, perfect block, baby, come on. Ooh, that was good. That was a lot of perfect block. All right, sweet, let's charge it up. Let's charge it up again. Ah! All right, I don't know if this is gonna kill him or not. Maybe 17 prowess is kind of a decent amount. No, all right, cool. Those armor breaks are, are doing well for me. All right, full decks for the for the fucking solo. And no. Right. Sounds good. Uh, I'm going to be completely honest. I played this fight like a normal fight and didn't try to heavy counter. Oh, that's interesting. Jeff Morris. Hi, Taters. Love the stream. Your last rant was awesome. You liked that. That's what I bring to the table. If you guys want skill, fucking take your business elsewhere. That's not why you watch. That's not why you're watching this channel. At least the live streams. I've, I've had some skill in my war fights. But war fights are so different, man. Three minutes, or whatever, five minutes. You can prepare. You've got the booze. Man, it's just a different ball game. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can... We, there's no reason we can't finish this guy with 40% health. So we're just going to try it. Roast bosses with bad words. That's right. <laughs> All right. Full combo. Yeah, we should be able to kill him with one more combo, right? Boom. Soloed. How you like it? <sighs> Took me at Odin to clear this, but uh, could have brought a better team. I was being stubborn. What team did you use? Oh, Pooba, we got to get you up on the dono board, man. The taco board. Very, very important stuff. Pooba with it. He, he's got the dollar taco, baby. That's a dollar special. Do you regret not bringing Doom? Yeah, I think so. It's hard to say, man, because I've only... Here's, here's what I regret. I've only used Namor for one fight, and that was Terax, and I could have quaked that fight. <laughs> Amazing solo, man. Hey. You're here for a reason. I know you guys are here for the solos. Um, <laughs> All right. So this one's going to be good because we're going to have to use Archangel. And I don't know, man. This is going to suck. He's got, like, so much health. It's, it's an insane amount of health. Uh, don't want to use Team Revives yet. All right, do I save the 7%? No, we're just gonna, let's just do that. Let's just see, yeah. Uh, hold on, we've got some more revives in there. I know that we do. Clinton, good luck, Taters of the Gauntlet and the Crystals. Dude, thank you so much, and thanks for the five spot, bro. You are going to, ooh, you're gonna supplant AJ. Wait, did I ever give credit to AJ for his second donation? I don't think I did, man. All right, we're gonna tie you up there with AJ. Thank you so much, man. We're going to give AJ $6 because I think that he sent over 6 bucks USD. And Sweet is finally getting bumped. The birthday guy. We're going to bump him down to line three. He can lead. He can lead line three. Clinton. Uh-oh. Will it fit? 
Barely. Dude, CNR is like, hey, wait a minute. I want in. All right, now we got an issue. Now we got to get, all right, CNR is, you're going to have to lead the second line, buddy. All right, you know what, Executioner, he's got, we're going to drop his name down a little bit. Hold on. All right, there we go. That works. Now we've got room for CR. With the $5 taco, this is so much taco money, guys. Oh, no, Pooba's thing cut off. Um, all right, we can, we can shorten Hobby to Hob. Everybody knows who he is. All right, there we go. Looking good. Looking good. Fuck this sassy. I'm seeing a lot of... Ooh, Meta. Meta's home and he can heckle me now? Nice. Meta did this whole thing in like... What was... What'd you do? Like less than 25 revives, but using Gambit, right? Total boss move, man. All right. Dude, at this point, we have... The Killmonger fight is the is the one that'll be like that'll be I think probably pretty tough to play around, but whatever. All right, Sasquatch. Let's see. We got Life Cycle, Recovery, Hard Knock Life, and Power Snack. Fuck, dude. All right, that's not gonna be fun. All right, let's top this feller off. We want all the health we can get. I just ordered tacos. You did. Nice, man. I wonder if I should wear tacos also. Well, let's see how we're feeling after this fight. I might be too upset. All right, so I'm 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 getting really lucky with the neuro so far. All right, that's my first poison. Oh no. I just missed a parry. That's you don't. That's not something you want to do. Miss a parry is not something you want to do. God, he's got wrath already, bro. Oh, that's it's not quite yet. All right, now he's got wrath, and he's yeah. All right. Broski, come on, bro. All right, we took off 14%. Honestly, that's I, I'll take it. I almost rage quit during this fight. Oh my god, that makes me feel good. Uh, White Mummy, genius planners are never skilled. That's a fact. High five. Well, first of all, White Mummy, uh, don't be humble because I know that you're very skilled. You're definitely a genius planner. Uh, but you are way, way better at this game than me. Most of you in this chat are probably better at this game than me. Uh, better than, you know, at the skill aspect. That's uh, that's just something that I accept. Beautiful spacing? Yeah, baby. That's... <laughs> you deserve some RNG love, Neuros? I... I'll take them. I'll take them if... If Tipped wants to hit me up with some... Some sick RNG, if he just, he just wants to give me that RNG boost in-game, that'd be sweet. Sick. APOC is the best option here? Is he really? Uh, this fight is pretty easy to get nearly done with Quake. The finish with her is the difficult part, which is where I'd go with AA as a finish. Oh, interesting. I might switch over to Quake after I get uh, brutalized again. Taters, get him down to um, with Quake to 5%, then use AA. Oh, just use it. Okay. All right, let's, let's, let's see what's going on here. Yeah, let's. I, we'll just use. We'll just use apocalypse and just see what happens. I mean, I'm gonna get wrecked no matter what, dude. All right, let's get that life cycle started. Boy. 
I, I'd like to get a heavy off. Alright. He's got Wrath. Awesome. Alright, reset. Nice. Yeah, Apocalypse is doing a good job. Get to that SP3, see if we can get these boys locked in. Uh, sir! Alright, let's get these fellas locked in. This is going a little bit better than uh, Archangel. This fight felt so long. A lot of people are, a lot of you guys are, are saying that this fight is rough. I mean, this is, uh, I'm, I'm going to get roughed up by any fight, really, but um, the Spider-Ham fight was just cruel, I thought. Like, this is just fucking terrible. Oh, baby. I almost got tattooed. What I don't want to, what I, I don't want to deal with is SP1. Uh, sir. Sir, could you spare a special, sir? Dude, that concussion is so sick, too. 30% is actually pretty decent. I wish I used Apocalypse from the start, man. That's the that's the sucky part is the regret. He's just he's just so good, dude. Ooh, I almost got caught on the dash back. I could feel it.
Should I be quitting out at some point? I feel like I'm making no progress. <laughs> just We're just going in circles. All right, well, there you just killed me anyway. No? All right, hold on. Let me, let me just see what people are saying. Ooh, Cap, what up, man? Hope you didn't forget to spare mastery. I do have to spare on. Um, which is, which is good. Need to uh, be putting bleeds on him? Okay. What up, Luke? How you doing, man? Alright, heavy, just got a heavy then? Okay, alright, alright. I didn't forget how to heavy, meta. I just, I just chose not to, okay? It's a, it's, it's a choice. It's a life choice. I didn't forget how. I need to just push him. I can only counter heavy his uh, his SP two. I don't I don't feel comfortable doing anything crazy with his SP one. All right, I got a heavy, and that's it's easy, dude. I'm gonna die from black damage now, unfortunately. All right, let's just get this SP two off. Ooh, there we go. All right, I, I get it now. I get it. I see what's going on. All right, let's push him to the SP2. Let's bait this thing out. Counter with a heavy. Let's just heavy him anyway, because fuck this guy. Oh, no, my spacing. All right. Not terrible. Um... All right, so now I'm I'm finishing with Archangel. Is that what we decided that we're doing? All right, let's just go back in with Archangel. That's fine. It's fine. That's basically a solo. Yeah, pretty much, man. I mean, I'm not. It's not like I'm keeping track. All right. Just gotta get that. Uh, What the fuck, dude? A for the finish? Not no? It'll be easier than rebuilding it, Apocalypse. I mean, it. I know, you're obviously you're right, but it's just, God, I just, I'm, a, I'm just an embarrassment. I'm an embarrassment. All right, let's top this idiot off. And that's good enough. All right, so am I just stupid or like the? I thought the disorient wouldn't uh, wouldn't affect me because of my ability accuracy immunity. Am I just wrong? Like, what am I not understanding? I'm not landing parries, and I don't understand. Uh. Get fucked! Thank you. Right. Okay, thank you, he's bugged. All right, so it's like, all right, I'm thinking to myself, like, have I just misunderstood something, another thing? Definitely a fun stream. Hey, buddy, I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. It's been going for only almost five hours. So, 60 revives? I, I don't think I'm there yet. I think realistically I'm at like 40. I stopped, no, I'm probably at like 45. I stopped counting at like 37. So that's just up on the screen so that you guys know how bad I am. <sighs> Not immune to node AAR. Okay. What up, Ronan? God, dude, I get so confused about that every time. Uh, all right. Polka dot power. Okay. Enhanced soldier sharpened claws cutting wires. I mean, we could try Archangel again, right? Let's try let's try Archangel. I wonder if I'd be able to um to heal up in this fight. <laughs> Gosh, here I am talking about healing up. Like I'm not gonna get completely ruined. Whoa! Nice. 
Hey, we turned off reverb. That's cool. Oh, we, we did not turn off reverb. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's just test the waters a little bit. All right, that didn't do it. Hold on. Why was I thinking that I could heal from willpower in this fight like a freaking complete moron? Dude, are my neuros preventing his indestructible from falling off? What in the fuck kind of bullshit is that? Yeah, alright. Uh, <sighs> this is a fun fight with Ghost and a tech boost, I bet. Alright, maybe we try Namor just because he's alive? No, we can save Namor for... Yeah, let's try Namor. Let's just empty the freaking... Let's just empty it all here. Let's just... We'll just use everybody. And then we can start using team revives. No, come on, man. What am I doing? Why am I st uh, I, I thought I had an SP3 there, obviously. This polka dot power business is not really helping me. I'm like doing no damage. I need an SP3 badly. Otherwise, I'm just not going to be doing anything. Oh, okay. I can't. I can't. I can't get an SP3 because of polka dot power. Awesome. Alright, I guess we're just gonna throw this SP2 just to use up our, our shit. I mean, Namor's damage without that fury is it's it's not it's not great. What I've taken off like 10% or something? I mean this is this is not going well. All right, I think I need to activate Imperius Rex manually. I just want to wait a little bit, like, until, number one, he has no power, and number two, I've got more outrage. Boom, all right. This ought to help a little bit. All right, we can maybe go for the heavy uh, after this. Bro. All right, let's get this heavy off. Oh, no, I fucked it up. All right, that's all right. Get a couple SP2s off. That's decent damage. Ugh! I almost got totally ruined there. The counter punch charges. Okay. Wow, bro. Awesome, bro. <laughs> that was so stupid.
All right, let's see if I can get a combo going into my SP3. It's not going to Oh, man. All right, that's okay. We'll finish off with whoever's left. I like how my revive count is like so high now that that ten on ham doesn't really matter. It's like if I if I was like fifteen revives, ten on spider ham, it'd be like oh shit! All right, this guy crushed this thing. Other than spider ham, but now it's like okay, so you're kind of averaging like seven to eight per fight anyway. Okay, okay, okay. That's that. Yeah, that's cool. SB two connecting with air, baby. That's what I'm. That's what I'm known for. All right, we're going to go in with uh, Magneto just to finish, see if we can finish this off. I don't have a lot of faith in myself that we can finish it off. All right, there's the answer. I wish I had Namor. My run would have been so much smoother, but I don't even have a five-star. Well, you could have a six-star rank three SIG 200 like me and still suck. Does anyone know if Gwenpool can solo the Cap Infinity War boss? I don't know. Not, not I. All right. Should we try to finish with Quake? Of course. Yeah, let's try to finish with Quake. All right. Hit into his block. Okay, I definitely, I definitely didn't do that. Right. I just didn't do that. Right. All right, let's get this team up and running again. Jesus, dude. Um, okay, we got team revives too. Team potions. There we go. We're starting to look a little bit better. Save some units here. Let's just throw Namor in again for no reason. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Uh, where we have two fights left and then Thanos, so we're almost there. We should we should be opening rewards in the next thirty minutes. All right, what, is this, what does this have on it? Long distance relationship, very fun. Power shield, shifting immunity, bleeding poison. So I'm thinking maybe Apocalypse here. I guess Archangel 2, but bleeding, yeah, that's kind of counters him, doesn't it? Let's, uh, let's try Apocalypse here, because I just, I, I just like Apocalypse. All right, and throw this to uh, get the debuff. Damn it, damn that debuff is ticking, man. All right, I gotta. I think I'm I think I'm not doing well in this fight. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not doing very good in this one. Yikes, bro. Ugh. Oh my god, dude. Apocalypse is fucking insane though. Alright, that worked out. I'm just getting killed on that fucking long distance relationship. Alright, and there I just, let's just ruin the entire fight. 
Fuck, dude. Uh, what was cooking when I was gone? A whole lot of ass whipping. That's about it. Um, Tater's recipe, Tater's own recipe, the ass whipping recipe. Just throw it. Come on, baby. All right, let's just get that burst damage. Go, go! Oh, no, dude. I wasn't even looking at Void. I was just trying to back up to uh, get that long-distance relationship shit off me. Can we get a cookbook? Dude, it's the easiest It's the easiest recipe, dude. Just, <laughs> just uh, turn on a stream, just fire up MCOC, and just get, get wrecked. That's the, uh, that's it. It's a, it's a family owned recipe though. At some point, at some point I'll, I'll pass it down to you or something. All right, Void, let's, let's go, buddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man, those <laughs> those debuffs are really stacking, aren't they? Go, just gotta go hard. All right, let's throw this SP three, and then we can try to get a <laughs> we can try to get a parry heavy after this. Throw another SP three. And then an SP2 should kill him if I can if I can do this right. Bro. Oh no. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. Fuck, I just knew I I knew I fucked that up. Tater's cookbook is just a link to DoorDash. <laughs> yes, sir. Planet Comedy, welcome to our planet. Just be stupid, man. That's the recipe. Alright, uh who who we got left? We'd use let's just use Magneto. I should be able to finish him in one heavy, I'm guessing. Nope. Maybe two heavies. Nope. All right, let's try a third heavy here. This will do it. Nope. All right, cool. Let's just, if we just maybe get a fourth heavy. Nope. All right, yeah. Secondary damage on the fourth heavy. Shit, what up, man? How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great. Uh, we've got a party going on here. It's been a very successful run. I barely used any revives. I'm just showcasing my godly talent. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much how we're doing over here. <laughs> uh, all right, Lionheart, Vigor. Wait, is Despair gonna mess with Lionheart? I can't, I don't need, I don't need to think about that shit anymore. All right, Vigor. Kinetic transference. Yeah, let's just let's just yellow this a little bit with uh, with Archangel. Let's just we'll just go in. This is a final fight. It should be okay. Kinetic transference, Nick Fury is usually easier than not kinetic transference, Nick Fury. Just nail the reparries. Push into an SP two. Whoa, buddy, that was random. Also, I have zero neurotoxins. Like, hmm, okay. Why did I just get degen? What the fuck is going on? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, let's just throw that SP1 in my face for another. That makes sense. Why did I get degen again? Can we just go back to that?
Oh, fuck. All right, we're going to try to... Um... Oh, Lionheart. Yeah, it does fucking interact with this man. That's, that's a bummer, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to take off Despair then, is that what we're gonna do? Poison is gonna degen you, Lionheart. Yeah, I know. Oh, Despair is fine? So I just deal with the damage is what you're saying, essentially? The fuck was that? Yeah, yeah, the poison, I know, I know, I know. Alright. Alright, let's, um, let's, let's go back in with Apocalypse, because I like him. Let's empty the, let's empty the team, actually. Let's just empty the team. All right, this is this is what I'm talking about. Nice and easy, Magneto. I wish I could shut off his his uh, real neck, but that's all right. Oops. Ah, fuck. Alright, this ought to do a decent amount of damage with the bleeds. It's a long one. Oh no, that was, what was I doing? I was like, I'm just gonna dex this, charge. It's like, no, you, you don't wanna dex it. Get him up to 35 here. Let's see what's going on. Saw to kill his life model decoy, I'm guessing. Just the block damage on that crazy stuff. All right, I'm gonna let this get down to 30%. Oh no. All right, that's all right. Oregon, what's going on, man? How you been, bud? Been a long time. Galactism, that's a cool name. Need someone on call for the opening? Mm, do we? 
BG has so much hair he had to use a bald cap. Wow. Um <clears throat> Let's just let's just use Quake. Let's just use Quake for the for the last little part. I know, Quake is so much fun. But I should be able to get this fight done. This last little bit done. We will see. I'm I'm sure I will screw it up, as you guys know. Ooh. Ah! I can't really build any aftershocks because he's so aggressive. Oh fuck, oh my god. Alright, that was brutal, dude. I can't believe I didn't die from that. I'm only getting like 2% off from uh, each aftershock cycle. That's not a good sign. Alright, my, my like, coordination is failing right now. Yeah, alright, I, 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 like, knew that I was gonna die. <laughs> alright, so we're gonna do a team revive because we're gonna need the whole team for Thanos, so let's just, let's just do it. Uh, yeah, why not? Is this the last fight? It is. Mercifully, it is the last fight. We're five hours in. It's the last fight before, um, before Thanos. And that, you know, that's going to be a fun fight. Nice. Nice little heavy there. change the revive counter to 50 plus <sighs> yes I should so I should why sh why why though you know <laughs> look if anybody's watched this they know how bad it is it's it's totally fine uh, what do I do man I quake uh, at least with quake I don't have to worry about the uh, the whatever it's called.
the uh, the uh, vigor. Dude, Clinton, with another $10, have some beer with those tacos. You've earned it after this. So here's the here's the secret, Clinton. First of all, you've sent me um, $5 already for tacos and $10 for beer. But I'm just going to use that $10 for more tacos. So to me, that's three extra tacos. Every $10 is three extra tacos that I get, that I get to eat. Which is, that's, you know, that's a big deal. All right. Clinton, you are the man. Fifth, up to $15 in taco funds. That is awesome. AJ, oh no. B. Daniels. Should we shorten him down to BD? All right, let's shorten B. Daniels down to BD. I mean, we know who B. Daniels is. That just looks cleaner. All right. Finally, we're at Thanos. This is going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Fantastic solo. Thank you, man. Just honestly, this game is sometimes it's a little too easy for me. Not to, I'm not trying to make you guys feel bad about your own skill set or anything, but it's just how it is. Sometimes I feel like, you know, where's the challenge at? I thought this was supposed to be hard. I don't know. Maybe you guys can ask Tipped about that, since he's still in here. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I guess I guess not everybody's this good, but you could I mean you could have made this a little bit hard. Alright, um So I'm sure he's got a lot of abilities to read that I don't really care about, so I'm just gonna feel it out. But let's let's see real quick. Um All right, Evolution Stone. Yeah, I, me I remember that. So Evolution Stone, 200% of the uh, damage is, will be taken back as bleed damage. Okay. All right, Nightmare Stone is 65%. Nightmare Stone. I don't. What's what's that one? Special is unblockable. Oh, this is the uh, the one where he throws the bubble SP two, right? Oh yeah, baby. I, I I remember that. I'm gonna get totally wrecked. You guys are gonna love that. All right. And when dropping below thirty percent health, Death Stone. What's that? Oh, this is the intercept one. Okay. I mean, <laughs> like, whatever. All right, we're going to use Quake first just to give myself a warm-up. Can I even Quake him? Let's just try it. Oh, he has immune to ability accuracy reduction, but I can Quake him for the first 5%. <laughs> I'm sure he gains, like, True Strike at some point. Let's just let's just see what happens, dude. How how hilarious would that be if this guy could just be like quaked? There's no way. Let's pop him with a heavy, see if we can get him to uh Alright, here we go. Evolution armor. Let's just try to quake him still. We can still quake him. Oh, he is gaining power. This is so dumb. I honestly, I hate this. This is so stupid. Th this should not be quakeable. He should have like permanent true strike or something. All right, there I'm gonna die anyway, so. No, we didn't die. All 
Oh, there we go. All right. <laughs> uh, hilarious. Nah, bro, I definitely quaked this whole fight. Nice. He gains passive, pa passive power. You can't quake. I think that you could. You just have to, like, get off, let off the, uh, uh, the, 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 the thing. All right, let's try Archangel, because he's going to be less useful in this fight, I think. But he is bleed immune. So that's good. You can just heavy this guy. Neurotoxins. Get those neuros up, baby. Alright. Oops. Alright, let's just neuro this boy down, man. This is all Apocalypse. Like, all of this is because Apocalypse is so, so insane. Oh, well, let's get stunned a little bit more, buddy. Here, let's get you another heavy here. Love it. All right, let's just let's just keep this up, man. I, I'm liking this. There we go. Oh shit! All right, what's this one? Oh fuck! I'm about to get ruined here. This is the. Uh... Oh, it doesn't even say. Oh, hold on. What's that say? Oh, it doesn't say. It won't tell me. All right, so this is the... He gets to an SB2. And some of them are bubbles or something. Oh, my God. What's this degen? All right, so he's just going to... He's going to get to the SB2. What? All right. A is useful till around 40% health. Yeah, that wasn't bad. I mean, I'm surprised he did so much. Um, all right, let's throw in Apocalypse here. Ooh, dude, yeah, CGR, I bet, really does well here. Just crazy block proficiency. Let's just stun this guy a little bit more. All right, I, I found it. I found the fake bubbles, bitch. Found them. All right, when's the next phase? I'm getting wrecked by this degen though. Does it just like get stronger or something? It'd be sweet if I could get to an SP2. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, SP2. Dude, Apocalypse could solo this fight with a better player. For sure, easily. Dude, I know. Five hours. Five hours and 20 minutes. All right, we're down to... Uh, was he down to his next thing? All right, here, let's see. We got to take a look again because I can't remember. Oh, the next phase is the one we have to intercept. But Avengers... But Avengers... Oh, it's 30%. Deathstone instantly filling his first two bars of power and increasing his maximum power to three bars. Um... All right, when intercepting Thanos' dash attack, the opponent gains safeguard. And he's also got death touch, and then Avengers won't lose more than 10%. That's that's awesome. All right, so let's see if we can let's see if we can finish this off. How's it been so far, Carl? It's been it's been fun. Uh, but I've I've been pretty pretty rough, as expected, man. Oh shit. Is he stunning me in what? I didn't think he was stunning me in. All right. Well, he he's stunned me, so. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh -hoo. What? Evade? What the fuck is that? Oh no, this dude's busting my butt. Oh, there we go. Alright, he's mixing them up now. Ah, that was bad. Namor is an Avenger, yes. Namor is an Avenger. Um, he's stun immune under 40%. Okay, perfect. Thank you. That makes sense. It's like, hey man. Hello? Alright, we're gonna revive the whole team. Just cause YOLO, you know? And we're just going to... Oh, we do have to heal them all too because of the degen. Youch, that sucks. Alright, that's fine. Let's do... Let's do Quake. Try to get him down to 30% with Quake. Since she's going to be useless after that. Alright, we can Quake this guy a little bit, right? Oh man, I'm just totally wasted on that one. No chance. Oops. Alright, that's alright. We got him down to 32, which is good. Fish stick got bubbled. I don't know what that means, but I like it. Oh, Deejin is based on current health? Nice, alright. You know, it'd be smart to read some of this stuff every once in a while. But, like, that's why you guys are here, you know? I guess Magneto, right? He's probably the the, the second least um, necessary champ here. All right, I don't quite understand that, but sure. All right, let's try to get you down to thirty percent, buddy. All right, thirty percent. Now I just gotta intercept him, right? Okay. What what is this evade bullshit that's going on? <laughs> Magneto is an Avenger. Yes, yes he is. He's one of those secret ones. Eighty percent of your current health. All right. All right. What's the what's the deal with all this evading nonsense here? Let's let's check that out. I mean, I don't really want to go through all this. Is that part of the node, maybe? No? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's an evade timer under him. Oh, it just pops up? Okay, that's stupid. Stupid! Alright, let's, uh... Yeah, let's, let's, we'll go in with Namor, that's fine. And just see what happens. I forgot about that part, the death touch part. All right. Archangel it is. There's no evade, okay, cool. All right, let's see if I can get off a of parry here. <laughs> All right, very good. We're, uh, we're knocking them down one at a time. I will read things from chat after dying, but not the same things from, oh man, why'd you, why'd you do that? T Moore, you've been waiting for a Taters Gala. Well, here you are, buddy. Last fight, five and a half hours in. I have just sacrificed two of my champs to Death Touch. <laughs> you know how we do it, man. All right, there we go. All right. Does he like injure himself when he, I, am I supposed to, I have to deal damage to this guy too? This doesn't seem like a fair fight. Yeah, he's laughing right now, but. All right, there we go, a little death touch action. 
Hitter's uh, getting jobbed out by Albino Thanos. Yes, sir. Attack right away. He gives you an opening. Um. Oh yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's let's do another team revive here. Ooh. I should have watched more videos, man. All right. He gives me an opening if I attack right away. You said. All right. So you're just saying like throw a light right away. Oh, right after the cutscene? Oh, the SP3. Okay, got it. I was like, what the, f what the fuck? Uh, KG, rushing as soon as fight screen starts. Okay, rushing as soon as the fight screen starts. Uh, yes, Brandon, yes. Rushing as soon as the fight screen starts. I just don't know what you're talking about. I can't believe I have to do 30% for this ass man. <clears throat> this big ass man. Oh, yeah. Let's get to that SP2. All right. Yeah, I'm happy. I can die happy. Ooh, got a little heavy in there, too. All right, James, he's lulling Thanos into a false sense of security. Genius psychology. Thank you for more taco money, James. You're the man. Let's see what you're up to, man. You're getting up there, dude. Dude, hell yeah. Up to a $10 taco. That's three whole tacos, man. Thank you, James. All right. False sense of security indeed. This idiot has no idea. He thinks he's he thinks he's got this one. What he doesn't know is that I will spend. I just tried to rush in. I will spend whatever I can. Oh, I see what you guys meant. There we are. Let's get to that SP1. Nope. I will spend any amount of units until he's dead. So yeah, he thinks he's he's beating my ass, but it's uh, it is futile. All right, here we go. Just gonna build his confidence a bit. Here's ten taters. Yeah, baby. Thank you, man. My brain is already fried. Nice. Uh, yeah, Iron Patriot, I know I'm saving him because I know that I'm going to continue to mess up. That's why. That's why I'm doing all my champs before Namor every time. You can't see him, but he's down at the bottom. So, yeah, I know, I know. Bro, come on. Now I'm getting finger stick. I'll have to rewatch this. Uh... <laughs> this all when you finish. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Thank you, Scarco. Uh, you really don't have to rewatch all this. It's five and a half hours of um, in-game MCOC uh, tragedy. Heal? Nah. No point, man. No point. So I'm just going to get wrecked. Dude. I didn't even mean to do that. I swear to God. All right. Now we're going to start trying because honestly his confidence is so high right now that it, it shouldn't, it doesn't even matter. Let's just keep doing team revives because YOLO, right? That's why, that's why I gr grinded these units out. All right, we'll use, we'll go Namor first. As long as he's aggressive, it, it makes it look pretty easy. All right. Carl. Ooh, Jazz free clips. Who you got? Dude, I'm feeling the jazz, bro. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it for you, Carl. Fuck!
Uh, but Carl, dude, I'm so happy for you and the Jazz. I'm I'm seriously so happy for you guys. All right, I don't know. We're gonna have to bump Puba, man. Much love, Poobs. Carl, Carl needs some space. The only Jazz fan in MCOC. Carl. Oh, man. Just don't get hit. Oh, Dinas. What up, Bray? Bre? That's, I did not think of that. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. We we kind of are almost there. <clears throat> All I got to do is not get hit. And that, honestly, that's easy if I'm trying to not get hit. So let's just start trying. All right. Perfect. This is so easy. <laughs> see you, Carl, man. Good to see you, man, for sure. I'm not too concerned about the rewards. Fuck, dude. Every time, dude. Every time I forget. Yo, instead of Thanos, Ham should have been the boss fight for Tater. I mean, Thanos is definitely getting me a lot harder than uh, than Ham did. All right, let's uh, let's just let's do some quaking. <laughs> Quick, quick, quick. <clears throat> he can't kill me if he can't touch me. Know what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Hey, buddy. All right. Uh, what did they say the weekly summer of pain rewards were? No idea. Uh, you could have just stopped taters at the, the only jazz fan. No need to add a qualifier, pretty much. But you know, I'm I'm happy for them because they're finally they're finally it. The road looks kind of clear for them, man. And I have zero faith in the Clippers, dude. The Clippers are just a a joke. But all right, let's get some damage in here. Since I'm gonna die right after he throws this SP3. Ooh, sneaky little shithead. Yeah, every time, every time I miss an intercept after his SP3. It's alright, we're just gonna unit man the fuck out of this guy. Jazz the Chokers? Who are the Chokers? Is that... That's uh, the Clippers? Come on, man. That's bullshit. Just play into me. Play into me, bro. Oh, yeah. My hands are like a fucking so sweaty. It's disgusting. Alright. Team Revive. Here we go. We ought to finish it off with this team here. We're going to go with Namor first, just because he's going to give me the most... the most SP3 allowance, I guess. I'm wondering if I should just back off after... So I, like, it just... he's just not... No, Namor's not a horseman. I made a uh, Archangel a horseman. Which, you know, I don't know what was the right move. But I, I can tell you it doesn't matter. Like, oh my god, dude, no way. Here, fucking take a heavy, bitch. Alright, we're just not even gonna watch this shit. We're not gonna give him the satisfaction. <sighs> Fish stick, baby, let's go. Fish stick, she'll get her shine. I'm guessing that you're talking about Quake. She'll get her shine here shortly. All right, let's get that nice little burst damage. Uh. All right, there. It's a possible that I can finish this fight with Apocalypse if if I just don't fuck it up after his SP3 like every every other time. 
Light intercept with Namor. Oh, does, does he work with the backdraft intercept? Alright. He is backdraft. Like, he's just backdraft light intercepting me, too. Like, it's crazy. It's great. Everybody's saying bro, and I don't know what you expect out of me. James, all these units means uh, pulling an awakening six-star archangel? I don't know. I doubt it. Let's get you up there. Let's upgrade your taco again, man, because we're almost done. Five and a half hours. Huh. Interesting. Ooh, James is jumping. Look at James be jumping, Doug. I can't have the formatting on this thing. All right, we're going to we're gonna have to delete James completely and then re-add him in front of Will. Let's just re-add him in front of B. Daniels. Not no offense to B. Daniels, but if James tries to get fancy and throw some more cash at the taco machine, you know what I'm saying? All right, sidestepping. Yeah, he's sidestepping me. Should I be doing that to him? Can he? Do, can we do that? That doesn't. That's not going to count as intercept, though. That's the problem, right? All right, light attack. All right, that did work. Light attack. I'm doing light attack intercept. All right. Uh, all right. I was totally painless. Only about 32 revives. Fuck, dude. That was probably... I, I think it was probably like 75 or something. But, I don't know. What are you going to do? Uh, all right. Damn, dude. That is a lot of T2A. Uh, let's see. Tier 5 class catalyst selector. Yeah, because I don't even know what to do with that. We've got the Nexus. What's this? All right. Rank 2 gem. That's cool. 25%. Can I? I wonder if I can save those. Probably not. And then the generic 1 to 2. That's sweet. And then we've got uh, 30,000 six star shards, a Nexus. And I also, I also have 15. Thousand uh, six star shards as is. So anyway, all right, everybody, itemless run, baby. It's not quite itemless, but uh, no revives. All right, let's open these crystals up. <laughs> itemless, baby. Here, let's just update this for the people that are just popping in for the rewards. It can be our little secret. If you guys have been watching this whole stream, it can be our little secret, okay? We gotta be better than Karate Mike. Seven revives. I don't know how many items in total, but, uh... <laughs> All right, oh man, they're gonna make us select this right now, okay. Hmm. I could go mutant here. I don't have any skills that I want to rank, and I just ranked up Shang Chi. Tech. Tech. I don't really care about any of the tech champs, and I'm almost there anyway. Mystic would be a good one, but I have one already formed. So let's go with mutant. It's a bummer we can't save these, but that you know that's all right. Let's go more mutant. Mutant, mutant. Mikey! Welcome. Oh, Scarco coming in with a five buckaroo. Scarco wants some shine. Let's get Scarco some shine. Uh oh, Cashew. Cashew has been watching this stream for seven hours, and the poor guy just keeps getting bumped. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, we gotta get. Uh, we got to get Scar up there, though. All right. Scar, we're just going to put you up in the front, bud. There. That is... Look at all those tacos, man. You guys see a bunch of names and letters. I see a bunch of tacos. That's what I see. It was not itemless. Unfortunately, I did use seven revives. Four of them on Spider-Ham. Spider-Ham was really rough. And I probably use like, I don't know, 15 to 20 potions. So. Alright, here we go. Um, this is the full boy. 
I think I gotta go mutant. I know it sounds it sounds so boring, but I have to go mutant, man. Mutant is just too good. And uh, I currently don't have any mutants. So we're gonna go mutant there. Um Oh, we gotta claim this, this free boy right here. Alright, so we will do the Nexus last, obviously. Uh, let's open this first, this um, 1 to 2 gym skill. I kind of figured it would be skill since I just ranked up uh, Shang-Chi with, with just normal resources. Um, okay, cool. Alright, so we're going to open up four uh, six-star crystals. And then um, let's let's go over what we want out of here. Let's load them up and we'll spin them. I normally would pop them, but we'll spin them this time. So here are the uh, here are the champs that we really want. We want Archangel, Kamala Khan. These are these are not in order. These are the new champs that I would like to get out of this. I would be very very happy if I could get out of this. So we've got Archangel, Kamala Khan. Um, uh, She-Hulk, I, I don't even know if she's in the basic pool, but if she is, she would be in in that uh, bucket. And then, who's the other one? Mole Man, right? Is there another one? Uh, did you just have 650 daily crystals and didn't use them? Yes, I did. I totally forgot about that, actually. Um, so, yeah. Open the login cab. What's the login cab? Are you just are you trolling? I expect proof of purchase on those tacos, <laughs> dude. I you don't want to see my DoorDash history. I did a stream actually back in January where I showed my DoorDash history for December, and I had like thirty two orders. Oh, Dragon Man, thank you. Yes. All right, we got Archangel, Kamala Khan, Dragon Man, Mole Man. I just I forgot somebody again. Oh, fuck it, dude. Let's just let's just go. All right, that's that's a lot of tacos, dude. That's gonna be that's like ten meals. Um, all right, Archangel would be awesome. Dragon Man would be awesome. I could take Dragon Man to rank three. I could also take Archangel to rank three, but I don't have a way to awaken uh, Archangel or Dragon Man for that matter. Modok, double Modok. Okay, I think he's new. I don't think I have him. Okay, <laughs> apparently I do have him. So you ordered from DoorDash like every day? I used to, Daenerys. Um, I've actually been pretty good. Like I only order it like twice a week now. Oh, She-Hulk. Yeah, that's it. All right. Let's see if we can pull one of our top five. We've got Archangel, She-Hulk, Mole Man, Kamala Khan, and... Uh, she uh, And then there are some champs that I would love to awaken. I would love to awaken Sasquatch. Wait, do I have him? I can't remember. I'd love to awaken Mojo, Symbiote Supreme, Doc Ock, um, Professor X would be huge. I would love to awaken him. I might take him to rank three. And uh, I don't know, man. I'll tell you when we when we get the champ, I'll tell you if I'm happy. All right, I'm not very happy about that. Not very happy. All right, we have two more of these crystals and then a Nexus. Uh, Anthony, welcome to the club. Thank you, man. Groot would be a rough pull. I don't want Groot. I don't want anything to do with that guy. Ooh, Interceptor's in here. Oh, there he is. What's up, dude? Dragon Man would be so awesome. Electro, this is, we're three for three so far. She-Hulk is really, really good. Really good. All right, I think we need to... I think we need to uh, let this guy spin out for a while. R3 Dormammu? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Dormammu would be a prime candidate for a tune-up because he's his kit is really good. He just really doesn't do any damage. Back out and pop for luck? Eh, we're already in it. All right, let's just tap it. Pop the last one. You guys are a little late, or maybe I'm a little early. I don't know. Ooh, okay, I'm actually happy about this. This is my first pull on him. I don't know if I'd do anything with him. 
there are so many good mutants that um, that I value, I think, more than him. Like, Professor X is at rank 2. I'd love to get him to rank 3. Uh, but Havoc is good. Havoc is pretty good. Um, okay. But we do still have a Nexus, a 6-star Nexus. Which is cool. Let's see if we can dupe Dragon Man from this crystal real quick. Nope. All right. The Pew Man. Hey, it only makes sense, too, that on Sweetie's birthday, we get to pull Mr. Pew. Um, all right. This is, this is it. This is the last one. Just spin this guy out. We will tap it. All right, here are the options. Oh, Jesus. That sucks. I think for, for a lot of people, this could be a really, really good Nexus. Just because Doom is so good. Uh, yeah, J. Nick, I know. I really think that I have to take Vulture here. I don't even know what Psylocke's awaken ability is, but I'm not going to ever do anything with her anyway. How old is Sweeta now? Sweeta is seven. He is seven. Yeah, Vulture is... I, 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 don't, I haven't played with him since his buff. I, I know that Cam likes him. Um, so, yeah, I mean, ultimately, we got, what, three new champs today? Three new six-star champs out of five. Or out of... Wait, three out of four? Or wait, four, how many did I open? I think we got four out of five were new. So, you know, not terrible. All right, let's see if we should rank anybody up. Um, and the answer is we should, probably. Ooh, Daily Thronebreaker Crystal. Let's pop this thing. Nice, nice. All right. Let's take a look at our new champs. <laughs> not quite the haul that you'd like, but uh, we did it for the resources, really. The resources are what's up. All right, so we can do a skill champ to rank two. I've got four rank threes, and I love all of them. And Shang-Chi is my favorite champ in the game. He's just incredible. Hitmonkey's pretty cool. I might just save this rank rank two, Jim. But uh, Hitmonkey would be... I would definitely not be opposed to using it on Hitmonkey. Um... <clears throat> All right, let's see if there are any six-star champs that we just want to take up to rank rank three. We've got Professor X. He's kind of the obvious choice. But I also kind of wonder if I should save my start saving my resources to rank four Apocalypse. So I need I only need two. I thought I needed three. Okay, so I only need two of these, and I'm almost at two. So I guess I could just. I guess I could just rank somebody else up anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be a while, too. The Interceptor, dude. The Interceptor. Sending over $5.68. Congrats on the 7 revive run, Wink. Good luck on the Nexus. Thank you, man. That I Streamlabs is always delayed so hard. But we got to get you up here. All right, Hob. You know how much you mean to me, buddy. But you're getting bumped. And this stream is about over anyway, guys. So, uh, you know. All right, we're going to have to get creative here. Interceptor. There we go. We're doing the $6 Takaruski. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Um, so we could do Professor X. Let's just let's just rank up Hitmonkey right now. Cause I like him. Alright, rank two Hitmonkey. He'll help me in arena if I ever do that again. We can uh, worry about that later. Alright, let's see if there are any other rank twos that we want. We do have Red Hulk. We've got a, a science rank two gem that we could use. I guess let's just do that on Red Hulk, right? This'll help me in arena. All right, that's pretty cool. And uh, 
Hmm. I think that's kind of got to be it. I think I'm going to save my mutant stuff. If I, if I awaken Professor X, I'll take him to rank three. Otherwise, I think I'm going to hoard him until I have enough, until I get one in overflow, or until I can rank four apocalypse. Uh, because they are awesome. Yes, Dilly, yes. <laughs> I I would love to take him to rank three, but I don't have, I do have the resources, but I don't want to use the resource. Oh, no, I don't, I don't have a science uh, uh, tier five class gals, but anyway. Uh, all right, we've been going for almost six hours. James wants to bump up his taco. Okay, James, I'm so sorry, man. Are we getting some more eye bomb destruction soon? I love that guy. Ooh, yeah, yes. I don't know. Like, I don't know how many, how much I'm gonna be posting videos. You know, um, for for a while, I really want to soak in this this break, but. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's raid Lefty, guys. He's he's always being so friendly and popping over. Last stream, he's, he donated to us, which is awesome. So uh, this has been long enough. Let's let's get Lefty up here and let's give him a raid. All right, one second here. Let me get the. I'll get the link in there. Uh, what? I was gonna say. Dude, all right, Lefty. This guy is so good. If you if you guys don't know it, you have a rank two Professor X and didn't use him for Gauntlet. I know, Mike. I know. I made a mistake. I knew that when I like halfway through, I was like, yeah, I, I should have brought. <laughs> I should have brought Professor X. All right, this is Lefty. All right, click on that link, drop a like, and let's do Taco Raid. All right, just uh, show him support because he's always so supportive of the community, not just my my streams, but uh, everybody's stuff. So go throw over a like and a taco raid. And uh, all right, I think I think we're good. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna cut this stream a little short of the six hour mark, five hours and fifty minutes. My wife is gonna be so excited. And uh, you guys are amazing. So thank you. Enjoy your weekend. Eat tacos and go raid lefty. And uh, I'll see you in, a, in another stream.